यू एक्टेड इन स्लम डॉग मिले हम अभी बात कर रहे थे छह सेकंड का रोल था आई थिंक साढ़े छे डोंट हेट मी तो म्यूजिक सुपरविजन जब सबसे पहली बार मैंने सुना था वो इंटरनेशनल प्रोजेक्ट्स में सुना था फिल्म कोई और है और गाना कहीं और आ रहा है जिसको हम किसी और नजरिए से जानते हैं आई फाइंड माई सेल्फ इन अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पोजिशन जैसे आपने कहा था मल्टी हाइफेटेड काइंड ऑफ लाइफ है वन ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज डिड इन गहराई वॉज आई मेड अ प्ले लिस्ट फॉर ऑल थ्री ऑफ दैम आई ऑलवेज डिफाइंड म्यूजिक इन टू जॉनर म्यूजिक दैट आई लाइक एंड आई डोंट लाइक अ सॉन्ग विच इज वन मिनट लॉन्ग कैन बी सो पेनफुल दैट इट कैन साउंड लाइक टेन आवर्स लॉन्ग हम बड़े इंटरेस्टिंग दौर से गुजर रहे हैं जहाँ पे पहले डिवाइडेड था म्यूजिक independent music and mainstream so like somebody gives you a compliment i really like that song is amazing you feel awkward hai hai theek hi hoga acha sorry thank you you know you don't know how to i don't know how to take a compliment well i'm a storyteller that uses different mediums to tell the story whether it's through music through poetry through films through writing latife suna ke alag alag tarike se aap kahaniyan hi suna rahe i still feel i'm struggling and i have no identity in the big world how do we become better music supervisors when you're doing it for film you need to know how to read scripts like a rhythm of a song you need to understand the rhythm of the script aapka kaam shuru होता है स्क्रिप्ट पढ़ के फर्स्ट फ्यू मीटिंग्स दैट आई हैव इन एवरी प्रोजेक्ट इज विद द प्रोडक्शन डिजाइनर टू अंडरस्टैंड द विजुअल डिजाइन ऑफ द फिल्म बिकॉज़ योर म्यूजिकल डिजाइन हैज टू मीट विद द विजुअल डिजाइन ऑफ द फिल्म मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट जॉब इज टॉकिंग टू द प्रोड्यूसर्स इन अकाउंट्स कि उसका पेमेंट गया है कि नहीं गया है उसका हो गया है उसका क्रेडिट नहीं आ रहा भाई यूजिंग अपना टाइम आएगा एज अ क्लाइमैक्स सॉन्ग इन गली बॉय वाज अ वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट डिसीजन आई हैड ऑलवेज प्लेस्ड इट एज अ इंट्रोडक्शन सॉन्ग फॉर शेयर इफ यू have the talent this city gives you an opportunity like i won't be sitting here if there were gatekeepers with one artist going up or down you also supporting a whole ecosystem around it if you're not just supporting your artist you're also supporting families that are linked to that artist hi guys welcome back to yet another episode of the music podcast aaj ke hamare jo guest hain wo mere dost hain actually wo bahut kuch karte hain wo singer hain songwriter hain फिल्म कंपोजर है एक्टर है प्रोड्यूसर है म्यूजिक एकेडमी में बच्चों को मेंटर करते हैं और क्रिएटिव कलेक्टिव कम्युन के को फाउंडर हैं टाइगर बेबी रिकॉर्ड्स के को फाउंडर हैं अंकुर एंड द गलत फैमिली के फ्रंटमैन हैं और सबसे ज़्यादा अभी रिसेंटली जो फेमस है म्यूजिक सुपरविजन इट्स अ न्यू थिंग इन इंडिया and uh, he is one of the most successful and one of the very few music supervisor in india jinhone kuch amazing projects kiye hain uh, usme se gali boy gehraiya uh, made in heaven archies recently aur coke studio bharat ye sab kuch kiya hai to aise hi ek uh, zabardast guest se aaj hum log baat karte hain jinka naam hai ankur tiwari i'm feeling tired after this introduction <laughs> i think i should stop doing a few things <laughs> so ankur itna kuch kaise karte ho ek sath aise hi karta hu ki ek sath pe nahi karta hu जब भी जो कर रहा होता हूँ वहीं पर ही होता हूँ तो अभी पॉडकास्ट कर रहा हूँ ओके तो सबसे पहले बात करते हैं म्यूजिक सुपरविजन की इट्स समथिंग इट्स अ न्यू टर्म एंड न्यू थिंग इन इंडिया तो सबसे पहले एक आम भाषा में ना जो भी लोग सुन रहे देख रहे हैं उनको बताते हैं कि म्यूजिक सुपरविजन एक्चुअली है क्या तो म्यूजिक सुपरविजन जब सबसे पहली बार मैंने सुना था वो इंटरनेशनल प्रोजेक्ट्स में सुना था वहाँ पे म्यूजिक अलग तरीके से यूज़ होता है इंडिया में म्यूजिक अलग तरीके से यूज़ होता है इसलिए जो आपकी डेफिनेशन इंडिया में जो बन रही है उभर रही है म्यूजिक सुपरविजन की वो थोड़ी डिफरेंट है जो इंटरनेशनली होती है इंटरनेशनली म्यूजिक सुपरवाइज़र का काम होता है एक बंदा स्कोर कर रहा होता है कुछ गाने होते हैं देन औरिजिनल सॉन्ग्स होते हैं देन ऑल द सिंक सॉन्ग्स जो आने होते हैं फिल्म में कि हीरो गाड़ी चला रहा है और वहाँ पर रेडियो पर क्या चल रहा है या फिर एक एक्शन सीक्वेंस है उसमें हम लोग ऐसा करते हैं कि एक माइकल जैक्सन का गाना लगाते हैं उसमें एक्शन सीक्वेंस होगा जो ऑलरेडी रिकॉर्डेड गाने हैं उनको ढूंढना प्लेस करना म्यूजिक uh, एडिटर के साथ देखना कि सही तरह से प्लेस हो फिर उसके अगर प्लेस हो जाए उसके बाद उसके राइट्स प्रोक्योर uh, करना डील क्रैक करना सो इट्स अ मोर काइंड ऑफ लेबोरियस प्रोसेस इंटरनेशनली इन इंडिया एज यू नो कि हम लोग बहुत ही ज़्यादा म्यूजिकल लोग हैं हम लोग बहुत सारा औरिजिनल म्यूजिक बनाते हैं अपनी फिल्मों में अधिकतर म्यूजिक ओरिजिनल होता है और कुछ एक आध पीस होता है जो सिंक होता है hmm. आपने भी ज्यादातर जितने भी किए उसमें ओरिजिनल ही ज्यादा है ओरिजिनल और साथ में क्या कहते हैं सिंक भी ऐसे किए हैं कि वो पता नहीं चलता लेकिन uh, okay. लेकिन एक्चुअली इक्वल नंबर ही हो जाते हैं सिंक के भी और उस ओरिजिनल भी सो uh, इंडिया so में जैसे उभर रहा है इस हाउ आई सी इट इज म्यूजिक एज अ स्टोरी टेलिंग टूल एंड अ डिजाइन टूल 
सो वेन यू कॉल इट अ डिजाइन टूल यू ऑल्सो सी कि क्या फ्लेवर होगा क्या पैलेट होगा उसी पैलेट में आपका स्कोर भी होगा उसी पैलेट में आपके गाने भी होंगे और उसी गाने उसी पैलेट में आपके सिंक सॉन्ग्स भी होंगे सिंक यानी कि जो ऑलरेडी रिकॉर्डेड गाने हैं उनको आपने लाइसेंस किया सो वट आई ट्राई एंड डू इज आई ट्राई एंड क्रिएट अ पैलेट एंड ट्राई एंड ब्रिंग ऑल द एलिमेंट्स टूगेदर वेर एज इंटरनेशनली द म्यूजिक सुपरवाइजर्स यूजली ओनली वर्क ऑन जो आपके सिंक वाले गाने एक्चुअली फिल्मों में गाने तो वहाँ होते भी नहीं और मेरे को याद है कि छैया छैया भी कहीं सिंक हुआ था वन ऑफ द वेरी फेमस जेम्स बॉन्ड मूवी और सब मूवी आई रिमेम्बर आई तो वही सिंक हो के मोलारूज में हुआ था आप कहते हैं अनु मलिक का गाना ट्रू सो इट्स लॉट्स ऑफ टाइम्स यू सी सॉन्ग्स बीइंग सिंक्ड इन फिल्म्स एंड यू रिमेम्बर देम देयर इंडिया में तो आपको पता है कॉपीराइट लॉ इज अ न्यू फ्रेंड ऑफ आर्स 2012 से शायद है 2012 में कमिटमेंट हुआ जिससे थोड़ा सा थोड़ा सा क्लैरिटी हल्का सा है थोड़ा से राइट्स मिलने शुरू हुए लोगों को लाइक uh, like 2012 के बाद अब आप कंपोजर और राइटर अपने जो कॉपीराइट्स uh, हैं वो किसी कोई खरीद नहीं सकता अगर किसी ने बेच भी दिया है वो फिर भी उनका राइट टू रॉयल्टी है राइट टू रॉयल्टी कोई खरीद नहीं सकता सो थैंकफुली बट म्यूजिक सुपरविजन की जब बात करते हैं तो इंडिया में ये इज इट सेफ टू से कि आपके साथ ही शुरू हुआ है या इससे पहले भी कोई करता था या कहीं होता था I think maybe मेरे साथ जब मुझे जोया ने पूछा था गली बॉय में मैंने किया था पहली बार तब मैंने अपने से क्वेश्चन पूछा कि मैं कर क्या रहा हूँ वॉट इज माई डेफिनेशन वॉट विल बी माई डेजिग्नेशन इन दिस बिकॉज अनलेसेंटली यू नो वॉट यू डूइंग वॉट योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एरियाज आर यू ट्राई स्टार्ट ट्रेडिंग इन टू अदर पीपल्स एरियाज सो वो डिफाइन करते करते मेरे को लगा कि ये सबसे सिमिलर जो टाइटल आएगा वो म्यूजिक सुपरवाइजर आएगा Uh, but having said that, it's been happening in our country for a long time. पहली बार जो मैंने खास तौर से देखा था वो फिल्म थी दिल है कि मानता नहीं उसमें आमिर खान रेडियो में गाना चलाता है I think हमें राई पी आर के और आमिर खान एंड पूजा भट्ट कैरेक्टर दे डू अ स्लो डांस टूगेदर एंड आई वॉज फैसिनेटेड कि ये फिल्म कोई और है और गाना कहीं और आ रहा है जिसको हम किसी और नजरिए से जानते हैं और वहाँ पर इतनी ब्यूटिफुली पिक्चराइज हुआ था I think for me that was the most romantic moment of that film. But so isn't season. that a sync thing? Ha so if if in an ideal world a music supervisor would have done it. Ha uh, but uh, there I think the director must have done it. Ki ha aisa karte hain aisa mahol banate hain. Pehle se specific banda nahi hota. Mere khayal se aapke alawa maine sirf Azim Dayani ko suna hai. So that's why I was saying Azim has been doing it I think even before me. Yeah. Uh, but they, people have been doing it in ways that was not really defined like this. So a lot of uh, प्रोड्यूसर्स हैव बिन डूइंग इट कि वो गाने सुनते हैं और वो अपना बैंक बना लेते हैं hmm. अब ये सुनने में आया है कि आई जैसे कि कहते हैं प्रोड्यूसर होगा उसने सुना गाने सुना चाहिए गाना अच्छा है बैंक में रख लो और जब कोई फिल्म आएगी तो हम यूज़ करेंगे सो दे आर क्रिएटिंग अ कैटलॉग फ्रॉम दैट कैटलॉग दे आर सिंकिंग ऑन दे आर यूजिंग दे आर मेकिंग सो इन इन एन इनफॉर्मल वे आई थिंक इट्स ऑलवेज बिन हैपनिंग इन अ वे आई थिंक एज अ क्रेडिट मे बी आर नॉट श्योर मे बी इट वॉज द फर्स्ट Uh, but as a job it's been happening as you said azim has been doing it for a long time and there's so many people who have been doing it for such a long so, time is it safe to say ki music supervision ko bola jaye ki ko, koi bhi filmmaker director ho producer ho ya koi tv show bana raha hai ya koi documentary bana raha hai koi bhi project mm-hmm. bana raha hai us project ka music ko leke jo unka uh, vision hai us vision ko execute karne wala banda music supervisor hai in india yes huh? so in whatever way whether he creates uh, new music whether he takes sync whether he takes licensing whatever way us music ke vision ko complete karne wala music supervisor hai absolutely Kar- i would, I would say that yes context mein hi hai and uh, jaise zoya ka aapne bataya ki zoya ne aapko approach ki how did that thing happen i'm just curious to know because aise bahut sare log hain bahut sare musicians hain bahut sare upcoming composers hain they are also very fascinated with music supervision aapko yaad hoga aaj se 20 30 saal pehle na event management was a new word yeah और वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू डिफाइन किया इवेंट मैनेजमेंट क्या है टुडे इट्स अ ह्यूज इंडस्ट्री अब इवेंट मैनेजमेंट में भी स्पेशलाइजेशन आ गई है कोई वेडिंग स्पेशलिस्ट है कोई एग्जीबिशन स्पेशलिस्ट है अब आर्टिस्ट मैनेजमेंट भी हमने शुरू की तो आर्टिस्ट मैनेजमेंट लगता था पता नहीं क्या है आर्टिस्ट मैनेजमेंट आज के दिन आर्टिस्ट मैनेजर इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग मुझे पर्सनली ऐसा लगता है कि म्यूजिक सुपरविजन भी ना इज इज हेयर टू ग्रो अभी शायद आप दो लोग हैं या कुछ और लोग होंगे बट इवेंचुअली हर आदमी चाहेगा कि यार ये अगर इसका कोई एक्सपर्ट है इस काम को करने का तो उसी को दिया जाए हाउ डिड दिस होल थिंग हैपन क्योंकि सम लाइट ऑन दैट 
सो आई फाइंड माई सेल्फ इन अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पोजिशन जैसे आपने कहा था एक मल्टी हाईफेनेटेड काइंड ऑफ लाइफ है ये भी करते हैं ये भी ये भी करते हैं और तो उसमें मैंने डायरेक्शन भी किया है और स्क्रिप्ट राइटिंग भी की है सो जैसे कई यंग म्यूजिक सुपरवाइजर्स से मुझसे बात करते हैं कि हमें हाउ डू वी बिकम बेटर म्यूजिक सुपरवाइजर्स सो आई डोंट हैव मच टू टेल दम बिकॉज आई एम लर्निंग माई सेल्फ पर एक चीज विच आई फील इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज टू अंडरस्टैंड वेन यू डूइंग इट फॉर फिल्म यू नीड टू नो हाउ टू रीड स्क्रिप्ट आई अंडरस्टैंड स्क्रिप्ट रिदम ऑफ अ स्क्रिप्ट लाइक अ रिदम ऑफ अ सॉन्ग यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द रिदम ऑफ द स्क्रिप्ट क्योंकि इंडिया एज यू नो हमारे जो कंट्री में जो म्यूजिक बनता है वैसे वो साउथ में बनता हो चाहे क्या कहते हैं हमारी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री बॉम्बे में बनता है म्यूजिक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट होता है जैसे लॉर्ड ऑफ द डायरेक्टर्स व म्यूजिशियंस एम सेल्स चाहे आप राज कपूर साहब को देख लें कितने भी म्यूजिशियन विशाल सारे म्यूजिक भरा हुआ है रग रग में भरा हुआ है उनके क्या कहते हैं चलता है तो म्यूजिक हमारे फिल्म का एक बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग हिस्सा होता है दैट इज क्लैशिंग विद आई फील अ लॉर्ड ऑफ द यंगर डायरेक्टर्स दे आर ग्रोइंग अप ऑन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ वेस्टर्न सिनेमा एज वेल I feel that they were also moving away. A lot of directors were moving away from music. Yes. जब एक item song का चलन आ गया था, almost like a token song. आपने नाम भी उसको दे दिया कि ये token song आ रहा है आपका. Mm-hmm. Uh, This is to promote the movie or build some, you know, excitement for the movie. So वो narrative से music अलग हट रहा था. Hmm. So I think सही वक्त है कि narrative में music को वापस लाया जाए. Uh, और वहाँ पे I see the part of music supervisor is very important. कि आप आते हैं और कैसे narrative के साथ music को साथ में लेके चलते हैं. यू नॉट समबडी हु जिसको प्रोड्यूसर कहता है कि आप कुछ हिट गाने लेके आ जाइए हमारे लिए आप प्रोड्यूसर से नहीं आप डायरेक्टर से बात करते हैं आप आपका काम शुरू होता है स्क्रिप्ट पढ़ के आपका काम शुरू ये नहीं होता कि आपने अच्छा ये म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर और ये है ऐसा क्या कहते हैं सिनारी आप ऐसा कोई गाना लेके आइए आपको सीन के पहले क्या हो रहा है सीन के बाद क्या हो रहा है कहाँ किस पार्ट में आ रहा है फिल्म के Uh, आपने पूरा पैलेट कैसे बना रखा है देर आर डिफरेंट इंस्टेंसेज वे यू सी हाउ एज अ होल इट शुड मेक सेंस सो सो म्यूजिक सुपरवाइजर का काम इन अ वे आई थिंक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वो डायरेक्टर से लोड थोड़ा हटाता है वो कहानी में देख रहे हैं तो आप उनको सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं कि आप उनकी कहानी म्यूजिकली कैसे नरेटिव में हेल्प कर सकते हैं और डिजाइन में हेल्प कर सकते हैं लाइक फन ऑफ द फ्यू मीटिंग्स दैट आई हैव द फर्स्ट फ्यू मीटिंग्स दैट आई हैव इन एवरी प्रोजेक्ट इज द प्रोडक्शन डिजाइनर ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिजाइन ऑफ द फिल्म द विजुअल डिजाइन ऑफ द फिल्म बिकॉज यूर म्यूजिकल डिजाइन हैज टू मीट विद द विजुअल डिजाइन ऑफ द फिल्म एज वेल यस और मेरे ख्याल से यू हैव डन सक्सेसफुली दैट इन गली बॉय एज वेल गहराइयाँ एज वेल कि म्यूजिक आता है तो एक ऐसा ट्रेंड होता है कि हम भी जब घर पर नॉर्मल लोग टी वी देखते हैं तो मूवी आते थे गाना स्किप कर देते hmm. क्योंकि गाना एक एडिशनल चीज है बिकॉज एक फॉर्मूला के तहत डाला गया कि भाई प्रोड्यूसर फिल्म बना रहे तो दे देर इज अ बिजनेस एज वेल देर इज अ फाइनेंशियल रोल एज वेल कि आप एक फिल्म का म्यूजिक बनाते हो फिर उस म्यूजिक को एक बड़े लेबल को बेचते हो एंड देर इज अ लॉड ऑफ मनी समटाइम्स किसी किसी फिल्म का म्यूजिक उनको फिल्म से ज्यादा पैसा कमा के देते ऑल्सो ऐसे मैंने फिल्म में काम किया था लेट्स एंजॉय जो मैंने डायरेक्ट करी थी आई थिंक हमने म्यूजिक में ज्यादा पैसा कमाया था बिजनेस बट मैंने एक फिल्म देखी थी दृश्यम दृश्यम में म्यूजिक जो है ना वो ऐसे इंटीग्रेट हो गया था कि कभी गाना कब आया पता नहीं चला वैसे गहराइए में भी म्यूजिक एकदम इंटीग्रेट हो गया था आई अंडरस्टैंड नाउ वॉट आर एक्चुअली टॉकिंग अबाउट तो अगर हम लोग एक एक प्रोजेक्ट की बात करें कि अब मान लो आपने गली भाई में अट्ठारह गाने बनाए किए और इतने सारे गाने करते हो तो इसके लिए बहुत सारे गाने आपको सुनने भी पड़ते होंगे आप स्काउट कैसे करते हो वॉट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ स्काउटिंग दिस टैलेंट बिकॉज आपके पूरी म्यूजिक uh, सुपरविजन में मेजॉरिटी जो काम है वो नए लोगों ने की है आपने बहुत ही स्टैंडर्ड इस्टेब्लिश जो बॉलीवुड में लोग हैं उनसे ज्यादा काम नहीं किया है एक मेरे एक्सेस की बात भी हो जाती है यू डोंट हैसेस टू एवरी वन जो इस्टेब्लिश लोग बिजी ऑल्सो एंड आई एम फॉर्चुनेटली ऑल्सो अ म्यूजिशन तो हम ट्रैवल बहुत करते हैं म्यूजिक uh, फेस्टिवल्स में आप बजा रहे होते हैं तो आपका स्लॉट एक घंटे का लेकिन बाकी दो दिन आप बाकी म्यूजिशंस को सुन रहे हैं फॉर्चुनेटली आई फाइंड माई सेल्फ इन अ पोजिशन की ए द वर्ल्ड इज़ आउट तो काफ़ी सारे म्यूजिशन मुझे म्यूजिक भेजते रहते हैं okay. uh, चाहे इंस्टाग्राम में और या ई मेल पर व्हाट्सएप पे आई थिंक इन अ डे एटलीस्ट वन आवर आई लिसन टू न्यू म्यूजिक एक काइंड ऑफ सुपर पार है uh, कि मैं कहते हैं म्यूजिक चिपक जाता रह जाता है कभी भी सुनाओ भी मैं आ, कुछ दिन पहले पापा उनसे मिला था 
और उसका एक फर्स्ट एल्बम जो बिफोर ही हिट इट बिग ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी में उसने बनाया था तो वो मुझे उसकी बेस लाइन याद थी तो मैं उसको गा के सुना रहा था कह रहा था आपको बेस लाइन याद है वो चिपक गया अभी भी चिपकी हुई हो और खासकर मेरे लिए एक इफ आई हैव हर्ड समथिंग इन म्यूजिक इट स्टेज विद मी सो इट्स नॉट डेट कि अभी कुछ सुना वही यूज़ होता है कई बरस पहले कुछ सुना होता है वो भी देर बी मैनी इंस्टेंसेज बींग एन इंडिपेंडेंट म्यूजिशन ऑल्सो हेल्प्स यू क्योंकि इट्स ईजियर टू अप्रोच यू बिकॉज मेरे को अभी हमारी टीम में से कोई बोल रहा था कि यार अंकुर जब कम्यून में फेस्टिवल्स होता है कहीं भी होता है ना ही इज़ वेरी कैजुअल ही जस्ट रोम्स अराउंड चिल्स आउट विद पीपल सो आई थिंक दैट पर्सनैलिटी ऑल्सो मेक्स इट लिटिल कम्फर्टेबल फॉर पीपल टू कम एंड अप्रोच यू एंड टॉक टू यू यू आर नॉट अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट पर्सन टू डील विथ वेन आई केम टू बॉम्बे आई फेल्ट कि दे वर नॉट मेनी पीपल हुआ मीटिंग मी so i want to be that person yeah, for same. people ki if somebody is coming and i am there to meet them so i try my best uh, my partner she always says ki tum to har jane se mil rahe ho ye kya ho raha hai but i try and see if i can find time uh, then i end up meeting them it gets difficult uh, it gets difficult to meet people physically uh, so kai baar zoom pe aur kai baar phone call pe aur uh, my inbox is always open for people to send me music superb to ab na ankur mai तकरीबन तकरीबन हर हफ्ते एक नए म्यूजिशियन से मिलता hmm. कहीं ना कहीं से मिले जाते और हम भी जब आए थे आप भोपाल से आए थे मैं रुड़की से आप ब्रसल्स में पैदा हुए और रुड़की में पले बड़े हो फिर भोपाल में आपने होटल मैनेजमेंट हाँ, किया फिर रिसर्च किया फिर बॉम्बे फिर दिल्ली फिर बॉम्बे तो अभी जब आप आए मैं भी जब गुवाहाटी से आया था तो हम सब ने शॉर्टकट ढूंढ रहे थे कोई मिल जाए करेक्ट कोई किसी आर्टिस्ट से मिला दे आपको कोई किसी लेबल से मिला दे कोई प्रोड्यूसर से मिला दे ऑब्वियसली हर आदमी यही चाहता है और उस टाइम ना मेरे को बहुत लोग बोलते थे कि यार कुछ नहीं होगा ये मिल मिला के hmm. मतलब तुम्हारा काम इतना सॉलिड होना चाहिए क्योंकि मिल तो तुम लोगे hmm. उसके बाद काम सॉलिड नहीं होगा तो फायदा नहीं होगा मिलने के बाद में पहले तुम तैयार हो जाओ उसके बाद मिलना सबका अपना अपना तरीका है अभी भी जो भी मेरे से मिलता है सब चाहते हैं कि यार कहीं किसी म्यूजिक सुपरवाइजर से मिल ले hmm. कभी किसी ए से मिल ले कोई लेबल हम पे पैसा लगा दे कोई फिल्म मेकर प्रोड्यूसर डायरेक्टर मिल ले हमको काम दे दे और वैसे हजारों लोग हैं जो आपके पास आना चाहते हैं आपके हिसाब से उनका सबसे सही तरीका क्या है ताकि आपका टाइम भी वेस्ट नहीं हो और अगर उनके अंदर टैलेंट हो तो उनको अपॉर्चुनिटी भी मिले वॉट इज द बेस्ट वे टू रीच आउट टू यू आई डोंट नो आई थिंक आई ऑलवेज बिलीव दैट इफ यू फील कि आप आपने आज की दुनिया में यू आर द बेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ योर सेल्फ टूडे देन दैट्स द राइट टाइम टू मीट एंड Uh, to understand space, to understand other person's space, not be aggressive, but at the same time, uh, not be silent. I think it takes a lot of courage uh, for anyone to call out or say that I want to meet you. I think it takes a lot of courage for anyone to call out or say that I want to meet you. I think it takes a lot of courage for anyone to call out or say that I want to meet you. I think it takes a lot of courage for anyone to call out or say that I want to meet you. I think it takes a lot of courage for anyone to call out or say that I want to meet you. I think it takes a lot of courage for anyone to call out or say that I want to meet you. सो so एक्चुअली ये जो कनेक्शन है ना म्यूजिशियंस के बीच मतलब मैं पर्सनली इस पे काम कर रहा हूँ अभी भी आई एम एक्चुअली वर्किंग ऑन अ प्रोजेक्ट वेर आई एम ट्राइंग टू सिंप्लीफाई द कनेक्शन बिटवीन द म्यूजिक कम्युनिटी उसके बारे में ऑफलाइन बात करेंगे तो लेकिन आपने जो वर्ड यूज करा कम्युनिटी इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सो दैट्स वॉट आई बिलीव इन आई बिलीव इन क्रिएटिंग स्पेसिस वे पीपल कैन टॉक टू इच अदर सो हमने कॉम्यून में वैसा किया है रोशन एंड गौरव ने जी के साथ वी मेड अ स्पेस वे यू कैन कम दिस अ फेस्टिवल एक yes. साल के एंड में कुंभ मेला होता है आइए अमेजिंग प्रॉपर्टी उधर आइए कि कहते हैं ऑल ऑफ अस विल बी रोमिंग अबाउट यू विल मीट अस फिजिकली इफ नॉट कि कहते हैं ऑनलाइन इवेंट्स होते रहते हैं वहाँ कोई ना कोई हमेशा होता ही है या कोई आपको मिल जाएगा जो आप हमको जानता होगा सो लाइक हाउ यू बिन डूइंग आपने ऑल अबाउट म्यूजिक में ऐसी कम्युनिटी बनाई थी आई थिंक ऐसे स्पेसेस बनाना जहाँ पे लाइक माइंडेड पीपल मिल सकें जहाँ पे पीपल गैदर टूगेदर की जो आइडियाज एनर्जीज एक्सचेंज कर सकें वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स आर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू डू दैट यू हैव डन इट आई ट्राई एंड डू इट एंड आई आई सी लॉट ऑफ पीपल डू इट इन इनफॉर्मल वेज एज वेल जैसे हम पहले घर में महफिलें होती थी hmm. आ रहे हैं लोग गाने गा रहे हैं वहाँ पर कितने म्यूजिशन से मिलते थे हम कि yes, yes. किसी के घर गए हैं वहाँ गाना गा रहे हैं अरे ये तो आप तो अच्छा गाते हैं आप तो अच्छा लिखते हैं करते करते अच्छा ऐसे करके हाउ डू यू क्रिएट अ स्पेस ऑफ कम्युनिटी आई थिंक इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट या एक्चुअली देर शुड बी समथिंग दैट्स ऑफ द बेस्ट 
अभी ना हम लोग स्पेसिफिक प्रोजेक्ट्स पे आते आपने प्रोजेक्ट्स तो काफ़ी किए बट गली बॉय वॉज दी मोस्ट यू नो फेमसली नोन फॉर तो गली बॉय का जो पूरा एक्सपीरियंस है आपका काम करने का कैन यू शेयर अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट दर एक्सपीरियंस सो गली बॉय स्टार्टेड राइट आफ्टर माई स्टेंट विद एम टी वी एम टी वी इंडीज आई वॉज वर्किंग देर एंड विद दैट आई हैड अ स्नीक पीक इन टू द इंडियन हिप हॉप सीन बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग था वॉज एन इंडिपेंडेंट स्पेसिफिक चैनल स्टार्टेड बाई एम टी वी एम टी आई थिंक पेप्सी सपोर्ट एम टी वी तो उनका क्या कहते हैं सो इट वॉज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग दैट आई वॉज इंटरेक्टिंग विद लॉर्ड ऑफ लॉर्ड ऑफ यंग म्यूजिशंस उसी दौरान जोया वॉज राइटिंग अ स्क्रिप्ट गली बॉय और वो लिखते लिखते जब पहला ड्राफ्ट उसका हुआ ख़त्म तो उसके बाद शी शेयर द स्क्रिप्ट विद मी आई रेड द स्क्रिप्ट एंड यूजली वी शेयर आर राइटिंग्स विद ईच अदर एज फ्रेंड्स इफ आई हैव रिटन समथिंग आई रिटन अ न्यू सॉन्ग और समथिंग आई वुड शेयर इट विद हर लिसन टू आर कॉमेंट्स आई हैव अ नाइस ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल अराउंड मी हु यू शेयर योर क्रिएटिव आइडियाज विद बिफोर यू पुट इट आउट टू द वर्ल्ड That's really nice. Huh? I think I think more and more creative people should have that kind of uh, you know thing where people can easily comment, give feedback. Great, you have that. So, usme kya kehte hain? She had sent the script to me just like that to read, and I read the script and I really enjoyed it. And it was a world jo I was familiar with because uh, I had worked with these guys. Uh, divine, uh, easy. divine, easy. Uh, M E A was around. Lot of uh, lot of young. Uh, Uh, rappers and writers from the bombay scene the film was set in bombay so i said that ki let's uh, look into it so one of the script notes that i had written was ki iska music bahut important hoga because music has to work for the film to work and it would be amazing if we get these guys to only make the music and i had written it as a suggestion suggestion mere dimag mein ye tha ki then obviously it's a film with she was talking to ranveer at that time to play he had not said yes at that time but i knew that a big actor is going to play it in even in my wildness of imagination i had not thought that she would say okay let them do it i thought ki maybe rehman will do the music or shankar sahan roy will do the music and they will end up working with these uh, people but she believed uh, uh, that the correct way and the most honest way to make the music for that would be to make uh, these guys work on the music uh which scared me when she said i'm going to do it uh, so i said ye kaise hoga like, how do we do it and she said you know these guys you make it happen so then i got into the script i said why don't we deal with this in a musical way why don't we deal with this in a music way ye interesting musical part ho jata so the script note started you know wow. kind of evolving and uh, working with excel and tiger baby is like working with family so it, it was never really defined in a way and before i knew it month two months into it i realized there is a lot of work that i have taken on and we just got into it i think i woke up from that when we were kind of send the songs for mastering tab ya samajh mein aaya ki re bahut sara kaam ho gaya hai ab ye kar diya hai and i think uh, the main thing was the producers and the director they had conviction about the vision and they backed it and they knew that this is the way we going to do it and they supported uh, me in whatever resources i needed we we decided ki hum log ek workshop karenge where we'll get everyone in uh, so it was a lot of us together so it was like a proper workshop with all the artists at one place yeah i think it was designed as a workshop but it was just us hanging out to usme just wahan ciphers hone lage wahan pe kaam bhari ne ek cipher kar diya divine ne ek kuch spit kar diya mev ne kuch bol diya you know so it was the nazi ne uh so you, it was bursting with energy and talent the like room would have exploded with uh, uh talent and usi mein fir wo as i said ki wo chipak jata hai mujhe yaad aaya jab kaam bhari tumne wo kiya tha wo wala to wo gana kya was wo kehne ka ki wo to sara aadha aadha paka hua hai maine chalo usko pura pakate hain ye karte hain wo karte hain fir then we just getting the verses out getting the things out and i think what both zoya and i were aligned on that the most important part of the music is not just the music but also the words i think gali boy was a revolution for a, for a lot of reasons a jaisa aapne bola do teen gaane se shuru kiya tha baad finally 18 gaane the agar usme se music nikal do 
तो आप एक, मतलब इमेजिन ही नहीं कर सकते एज अ फैन ऑफ मूवी आप इमेजिन नहीं कर सकते उस मूवी को उस म्यूजिक म्यूजिक के बगैर दूसरा इट गिव बर्थ टू अ लॉर्ड ऑफ न्यू आर्टिस्ट क्योंकि कुछ आर्टिस्ट थे जो पहले से पॉपुलर डिवाइन लोग जानते थे बट गली बॉय नेजी मतलब जानते तो थे फिर भी लोग लेकिन एक जो स्केल था वो स्केल सडनली चेंज हो गया जैसे काम भारी एंड ऑल दोज पीपल दैट इज रियली हेल्प आई थिंक पीपल हैव ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड फॉलोइंग एंड बिलीविंग इन हिप हॉप मच मोर आफ्टर दैट अब उसके बाद में को इंसिडेंटली हसल भी आ गया दैट कल्चर इज बींग बिल्ड इट्स हिप हॉप इज एनी वे आर वेरी रिबेलियस कल्चर और वो रिबेलियस कल्चर की जो रीच थी वो रीच काफी बढ़ गई गली बॉय से आई एम श्योर इनफैक्ट रनवीर हेज स्टार्टेड म्यूजिक लेबल आफ्टर दैट इफ uh not wrong he started a music label uh, whose idea was for ranveer to sing uh that was oya's idea uh because in this he was not really singing uh he was speaking so to get the voice that's going to be his speaking was because he would shift from speaking into rapping uh it had to be smooth if you have a playback singer is different people sometimes logon ki singing voice aur unki speaking voice alag hoti hai correct par rapping voice or speaking voice mein itna फर्क नहीं होता अनफॉर्चुनेटली फॉर हर रनवीर एनी वे रैप्ट ही हेड अ डिफरेंट स्टाइल ऑफ रैपिंग बट देन ही वर्कशॉप वेरी हार्ड आई थिंक वर्कशॉप फॉर थ्री मंथ्स एंड देन ही गॉट द फ्लो ऑफ हाउ मुराद वुड रैप एंड ही फाउंड इज ओन वॉइस बट इट वॉज ओयर आइडिया एंड ही इज वेरी स्पोर्टिंग आई थिंक ही टेक्स अप एनी चैलेंज यू गिव हिम I, I I think he loves challenges. I love challenges. He's full of life, full of energy. I don't know where he gets the energy from, but uh, that's that's life. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Ranveer Singh is. Yeah. In Gaya Hai Dube is one of the uh, really famous song. A uh, lot of people who don't understand the musicality, like general fans, वो एक particular sound को ना independent music मानते हैं. You know, mm-hmm. and when it is more of uh, you know the kind of songs you do, Pratik mm-hmm. Kohar does, mm-hmm. and all these people do. Gehrai had a very music sensibility like that. Was it difficult for you to convince uh, for those kind of songs? And all the artists were also new. It was the, unlike Gali Boy. We went with uh, one set of artists, Of and Savera. Yeah, they did the whole. And they hadn't thing. done anything before that, right? Uh, they had films. not done anything in mainstream before that. And how? And did actually, they had not done anything in Hindi before that. what what is that journey all about because see, i am interested in all this mainly because there are a lot of artists who are now uh, starting to believe ki yaar main agar independent music bhi karu apni identity ko barqarar rakhu tab bhi kaam ho sakta hai pehle film was like the thing ki jab tak aapne film music nahi kiya bade level pe commercial music aap commercially viable nahi ho sakte but i think the things have really really changed recently As I said, that the first script I read, Shakun had shared the script with me. There were three important characters uh, in the uh, mm-hmm. in the movie. So after reading the script, I realized that they say that the three characters, which are their Venn diagrams, are somewhere intersecting, but they are very different from each other. So uh, I really believe the music you listen to defines you. So yes. one of the exercises I did in Gehraiya was I made a playlist for all three of them. All three characters. All three characters. What would they be listening to? So because that and music listening experience has also changed. Earlier you would listen music in a community as a community. Yes. You would be listening to it in a stereo or radio. Now what the most of the people are listening to it on the yeah earphones. So it's a very private affair. Correct. Affair. So what you are listening to, this आपका जो Spotify rap आता है उससे आपकी काफी personality भी नजर आएगी, है ना? Yes. Maybe you don't want to share your Spotify rap at the end of the year. But uh, and that was a very interesting exercise. And interestingly. Uh, Ofen Savera's music was on all three playlists. It it kind of intersected. Uh, Sorry, I'm cut cutting in between. But a uh, imaginative character's ki playlist, what will happen? How do you think about it? What? Because script is helping you, right? The script script becomes your bible. It becomes your. Okay. Where are you going? 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 ये ट्रेन में ट्रैवल करता है बस में ट्रैवल करता है टैक्सी में ट्रैवल करता है इस तरह के ऑफिस में रहता है इसकी ऑफिस पार्टीज ऐसी होती होंगी इसका सो लॉट ऑफ अ गुड स्क्रिप्ट गिव्स यू अ लॉट टू इमेजिन एंड शकुन एंड आयशा स्क्रिप्ट वाज ब्यूटीफुल देर वाज अ लॉट ऑफ मटीरियल इन इट दैट यू कुड टेक फ्रॉम सो एज आई सेट लाइक द थ्री प्ले में से उनकी ओफो सवेरा के गाने तीनों में थे शकुन ऑल्सो हर्ड द म्यूजिक लव द म्यूजिक एंड सेट लेस talk to them and we started talking to them they had done a bunch of advertising 
उस पर उन्होंने हिंदी में काम किया था बट द म्यूजिक दैट दे वर मेकिंग वॉज मेनली इन इंग्लिश सो वी सेट ओके विल गेट समबडी इंटरेस्टिंग टू कम एंड राइट द लिरिक्स इन विच आई वॉज वेरी श्योर दैट द म्यू अगेन द वर्ड्स हैव टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कहने को होता है वैन यू मेक म्यूजिक फॉर यंग पीपल दैन यंग लोगों के जैसे वर्ड्स लिखो बट दे वर गोइंग थ्रो वेरी मेच्योर पार्ट ऑफ दर लाइफ एंड जर्नी लाइफ एंड जर्नी सो वी सेट लेट्स गेट समबडी विद डेप्थ इन द लिरिक्स इंस्टेड ऑफ गेटिंग समबडी राइट वॉट वी कंसिडर एज यंग पीपल्स वर्ड्स सो वी गॉट कॉसर इन वर्ल्ड कॉसर मुनियर अमेजिंग ब्यूटिफुल एंड शी इज अट एट हार्ट सो गेटिंग हर इन वर्ल्ड विद दीज गाइज एंड putting them in a mix it just started falling into place very easily nice and uh, let's move from grahiya recently you've also done coke studio bharat and uh, we all know that uh, one song khalasi has been like rocking now and the best part is it's a gujarati song but it's being played in tamil nadu it's being played in assam and uh, a lot of people don't even understand what actually they are saying and that's the power of music which has come through and that's what coke studio is all about What is your experience working with Coke Studio Bharat? How did you find and scout the talent for Coke Studio Bharat? How did that happen? Unfortunately, it's the same formula there as well. If there's a formula, is follow the story. So what we try and do is we try and write stories. What I try and do is I write a story of a song. Sometimes even call it casting instead of getting people involved. So you write the story and then you cast it for different musicians and. uh singers to come and be a part of it of how they'll take the story forward so the brief was to write a song uh, for the gujarat market that's what uh, we wanted to target so we said okay now let's write a story of gujarat which is not usually told because it's it's very cliche to just write a story of gujarat ki wahi jo cheeze hain garba ki garba ka garba dandia and dandia all those things so we said ki kite flying mm-hmm. so ki kehte hain let's write a new story which has not been written so wahan pe mere dost swanand kirkire unhone hi suggested ki somya joshi ek hain he is a writer playwright uh, and a, a film writer and a lyricist who does a lot of theater in gujarat unse aap mile unse baat kare so we went and met uh, Swamya uh, Swamya ke saath jam karte karte Swamya ne kaha ki let's write a story of Gujarat or the coast of Gujarat that's never been written yes written it was one of the first songs we were starting and i felt really beautiful ki you know india was discovered through the coast of Gujarat yes so and we are starting a new season coke studio bharat they said this is a great song to introduce India somewhere it was it made a lot of poetic sense to me it sounds yeah. bizarre right now but no no but it's i think creativity can come from any idea and whatever works is works so waha pe swamya se baat shuru hui uske baad then i was sure that I'll let me get a uh, gujarati musician to do it because they will know it the best and uh, ek mere man mein tha ki i wanted to make uh, the song for the young people of gujarat Uh, usually young people hate their parents generation music so i wanted to make something that they can say is cool so usme i think the coolest young gujarati musician i met after no often savera var uh, achint achint yes and achint had made beautiful uh, music before he had done scam i think scam he had done, he had done. Yeah, yeah. and then he was working on monica oma darling at that time which i loved uh, so i said ki ye to bahut hi interesting hai isko bulate hain एंड uh, इस स्टोरी से फिर अचिंत का मिलाप हुआ uh, उसको आई रिमेंबर आई टोल्ड हिम कि लेट्स मेक अ सॉन्ग जिसमें वी यू नॉट बाउंड टू यूज एनी गुजराती ट्रेडिशनल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स और एनीथिंग लेट्स जस्ट मेक अ स्टोरी विद रिदम एज इफ दे आर ऑन अ शिप एंड द रोइंग ऑन अ शिप बिकॉज दिस स्टोरी ऑफ वी मेड अ स्टोरी ऑफ अ सेलर खलासी इलॉन मस्क की बात भी हुई थी कि वो स्पेस शिप भेज रहा है आउटर स्पेस में और पुराने जमाने में जैसे ये सेलर जब जाते थे उनके लिए भी टूट बिन लाइक गोइंग टू आउटर स्पेस 90% of of them never came back home, and 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 the kind of spirit and, of adventure and discovery and curiosity they had, we should capture that. So all of that was happening. Then Achint had recommended uh, Aditya Gadvi's name, uh, really popular. Kirtan Gadvi's son, right? If I'm not wrong. Huh? Yeah. Yes. And then he came in with this whole thing of this melody we'll sing uh, in a way where I can present it in a traditional form. He brought in that spoken piece form. he found the ladies who did the chorus and achint really managed all of that and and designed all of that where the leading voice of the sailor and the boatman and the people who would 
cheer them on. So there were many stories that were colliding and it just organically became something uniquely different and yet something that you identify with. Like you, you are the sailor of your life. Like you have sailed so many things. And one of the lines that says, you're not going to find the pearl till you take That's a dip amazing. in the ocean. So it, it kind of you, it resonates with you anywhere. It entered the global charts. So yeah. it was, so it was quite exciting to just see uh, it evolve and the power of storytelling. So it, I think it all comes back to what's the story and how honest can you be with the story? So there would be what's the story you're telling? How honest is that story and how honest are you in trying to express that story? You know how many things you are telling, like the short form video generation of today's short form video. और ज़्यादातर लोग ये बोलना चाहते हैं कि यार आजकल अटेंशन स्पेन कम है यू नो तीस सेकंड में बताओ जो बताना है दस सेकंड में बताओ जो बताना है और ये चीज़ चलती नहीं है ये कमर्शियल नहीं है ऐसा नहीं है बट उसमें जब आप बता रहे हो कि आप स्टोरी को बहुत डीपली स्टडी करते हो कैरेक्टर्स को स्टडी करते हो उसके बाद में जाके एक ब्रीफ बनती है गाने की उसके बाद उस गाने पर काम होता है सो so, But do you really believe in what people say about this short form uh, video generation or making uh, content which is real worthy? Because I think uh, Khalasi also has really become popular through reels, if I'm not wrong, reels and shorts. We got, uh, I think we, uh, this year we made the most number of reels from our song. So, but you didn't, you didn't really make it for reels, right? You didn't really keep in mind that a real worthy content will happen. You don't think about that while making the song. If it has to become a real worthy content, it will do a real worthy content, right? So I believe in a few things. Uh, I resonate with some things that people say, but not entirely, not in that form. So I, I believe ki, uh, I believe in length is important, but not the physical length, the emotional length. Yes. So a song which is one minute long can be so painful that it can sound like ten hours long. Yes. A song that is two hours long can be so amazing that makes you forget the idea of time. So it can be feel like five seconds, 10 seconds. Are pata hi chala gana hai, kahan le gaya? So emotional length I believe in, physical length I don't believe in. One of the rules that I try and follow in my life is that if you only believe in averages, you're only going to do average work. So to do above average work, you have to take a leap of faith. A leap of faith mein jaise, for instance, you see Parker karte hain log, hmm. Kood Phaan ke building building mein jate hain. I find it fascinating. You have to be that Parker artist. To take that leap that you can fall anywhere. But to practice and get there, you have to fall many times. Yes. You see, that's exactly what you do in music and storytelling as well. It, that can only happen when somebody takes a leap of faith. We all have heard that it's going on, it's going on, it's going on, but it's okay. But you can't just be following that. I wouldn't say ignore the analytics. But I would say you can't rely on it. True. Keep it at the back of your mind, but do something. If you're going to like, break and like we did that in for instance we did that in gully boy we did that in gehraiya we did that in uh, archies uh, with coke studio bharat everywhere we've you've taken leap of faith it has also been times we failed and you yeah, yeah. fallen on your face and bled but True. Uh, but the thing is that you shine when you if we had believed in averages and only worked with averages we wouldn't have made a khalasi or apna time aayega or uh, you know dube dube we, they, it, they wouldn't have happened That's right. Actually, uh, it's a part of the journey, I think. You have to enjoy and love the art of making your songs. You'll fall, sometimes it will 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 fall. You can't plan that whole thing. A quotation says, you know, uh, you can torture a statistic to confess anything. Yeah. So, uh, Very I, well re- I really believe in that. That statistics are important, but it can make, you can get whatever you want out of it. And a lot of times people, use them to sell a story which is not honest. So as long as you, that's why I go back to the story each time. If you have kept your story honestly, and sometimes you will be frustrated because it's so irritating that it's not coming, it's not getting broken. But once you cross that, then it's all bliss. You can see Tendulkar and Kohli, if they're going with statistics, they won't be making those runs. If you see Sehwag, why is he hitting 300? It's not written, no? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So they have, they have to get to the point where they have to get to the point where they have to get to So they, they, you cannot think about those things, but you can know about those things. So when you cross them, you say, oh, wow, you just did that. It's a crime 
to focus on that thing completely because it affects your Absolutely. creativity eventually. Absolutely. In Coke Studio, you have worked with a brand. Ke bhi kaam ki hai. There is a brand involved, then there is a music label involved. So how different it is to work for Coke Studio Bharat than any other uh, project? Coke Studio Bharat is very, very interesting because they are like, it's like, I've not experienced working with a brand like I've experienced with Coke. They are really give you your full uh, faith. They put their full faith in you and they let you do anything. Thankfully, it has worked this time. If it doesn't work, then if anything doesn't work, I am the only person to blame because they have gave me a complete free reign. In fact, most of the meetings, they were saying, we don't know anything about music, but this is what we think. You can take it or leave it. And they always were respectful in the way uh, that they were sending their comments. And, and even now, they continue to do so. Similarly, we've had a very nice relationship with Universal Devraj, who leads the Universal team. Uh, unlike working uh, with any label that comes with... Like, usually a label would say, our artists do this, do this, do But they really give you... You know, it's like hanging with people who love music. They say, kuch bhi karna karo, we're going to support you in this. Even if it's not in our agenda. And then they help you facilitate uh, an environment uh, which is honest, which is fun. And uh, there are discussions and arguments where we don't agree a lot of times, but they have their faith in you and we work together as a team. So between Coke and Universal, it's been... I didn't imagine that it would be like this. I'd always imagine a story कोई ब्रांड आ गया है कोई लेबल आ गया तो लड़ाइयां ही होंगी वो नहीं मानेंगे अपने एजेंडे को जाएंगे बट इट वाज क्वाइट फैसिनेटिंग टू आई गुड आई माय सेल्फ समटाइम्स आई थिंक ये सुन के और ब्रांड्स और और लेबल्स भी इतना लिबर्टी दें लोगों को आई थिंक देना चाहिए क्योंकि यू नो इफ देयर्स आई एम नॉट टेलिंग कोका कोला हाउ टू मेक कोला या और आई एम नॉट टेलिंग देवराज हाउ टू मार्केट अ सॉन्ग देयर आई एम आई हैव फुल फेथ इन इन देम I think good teamwork is where roles are defined and then you really, uh, you know, uh, back uh, that True. role and you bring in your best. And then when you work together, it is uh, when something works, it's magic. Sometimes some things don't work also. Some of the songs in our Coke Studio Bharat didn't do as well as I'd expect them to yeah. do. Uh, but that's part like I own it. Like I said, it was I, maybe I committed a mistake there. It was a problem, but we're all learning. Abhi ek, uh... थोड़ा सा डिफिकल्ट सवाल है डिफिकल्ट तो क्या है इजी है कि हमने देखा है कि जनरली म्यूजिक में इंडिया में सबसे ज्यादा लोग सिंगर को पहचानते हैं क्योंकि सिंगर को सिंगर इज द फेस ऑफ द सॉन्ग वो भी अब शुरू हुआ 20 साल पहले तो एक्ट्रेस को ही पहचानते थे क्योंकि फिल्में ही होती थी उसके बाद कहीं जाके कंपोजर को क्रेडिट मिलता है लिरिसिस्ट हमारे जितने भी मोस्ट फेमस एंड सक्सेसफुल लिरिसिस्ट है इनफैक्ट दे आर रनिंग कैंपेन सेंस ए लॉन्ग टाइम कि क्रेडिट दे दो यार and i remember i had also done a sessions with session with them in all about music and they still fighting ki yaar properly credit nahi milta hai humne gana likha hai we are the most important part is bheed mein a music supervisor ko credit milta hai how difficult it is to get credit ye aapko easily milta hai and second do you have any royalties as well as a music supervisor do you get any kind of royalties as well apart from the fees which you get so the music supervisor you will not get royalties because uh, jo aapka defined hai work is defined as the intellectual property is defined as the music uh, composition and the written part of it so it will always stay between the writer of the song the lyrics and the composer yes. and the composer uh, and everything else enhances the music so you become part of the team that's there but the intellectual property will remain with them so sometimes interestingly what happens which i feel is the uh, which which should be debated and i don't know how qualified i am to speak about it is uh, i feel singers and musicians can become a part of the composition and this is how i see it like and and this uh, came to me while we were uh, recording for gully boy ki rap mein they not singing they are speaking but they are speaking in a rhythm true and they bringing in the over rhythm the producer ne ek beat bana rahe ki tup tha tup 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 tha tere mere maath mein dikkat de- dikkat so he's brought in his own rhythm to it so i believe that they have also brought in a composition in it because it's complementing this beat and going with a different rhythm so in gully boy we gave composition credit to the rappers as well even though they nice. came as just as rappers and it's incredible kudos to the entire team who de- took that decision but i think it's a game changing uh, but i think this these are discussions that need to be had a lot of times singers come in 
into a studio and they bring in their yes. feel to it and as a composition agar tum 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 hai the tum 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 utte alag se true ek dala hai composition which which should be discussed with the music directors there and seen if they it's so interesting that it can become part of uh, if it, it the percentage of composition mein it has a very very important part they should also get uh, a share of the composition so i feel these are discussions that should be had these are discussion that should be had with singers musicians uh, sometimes uh, some people come in with musical licks that make make the song like you you still remember the cars ka परसेंटेज ऑफ द पाए Yeah, I think in in developed world this happens because when people are doing that thing, they write a piece of paper that you know whose contribution is how much, and there there is a pre-decided thing. There is no formula, but there is something. In my opinion, in India, as 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 it develops, will be musically in terms of business, in terms of things. This should happen. And I think it it only thought. gives space to like what I have noticed is that uh, uh, I have had the luxury of working with. amazing music directors established music directors like vishal shekhar or shankar ehsan loy or amit trivedi uh, all of them are quintessential established musicians yes. but they all very giving yes. so they wouldn't be opposed to this True. conversation and they would recognize it and i think it will be an interesting conversation to have and uh, it can be decided okay like 2% of the song belongs to this musician 1% can be said. and it's like and more uh conversations like this will will mean more interesting inputs yes and collaborations and things and new uh, equal footing uh, for everyone i think it's food for thought for the entire community aur aapne itne sare kaam kiye aapka sabse pasandida kaam kaun sa hai khud ka i'm making my songs because no. that that as i said makes when i'm writing my songs then it takes you away from the concept of time and space to aap likh rahe hain aapko yaad nahi rehta ki अच्छा कॉफी ठंडी हो गई क्या <laughs> इतना टाइम हो गया एंड सम वर्ड्स हैव कम इन टू योर कॉन्शियस दैट हैव फाउंड देमसेल्फ ऑन पेपर सम कॉर्ड्स हैव कम सम मेलोडीज हैव कम इट्स इट्स मैजिकल एंड व्हाट वाज द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट जॉब मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट जॉब इज टॉकिंग टू द प्रोड्यूसर्स इन अकाउंट्स कि उसका पेमेंट गया है कि नहीं गया है उसका हो गया है उसका क्रेडिट नहीं आ रहा भाई उसका टीडीएस नहीं कट गया उसका जीएसटी एंड एंड यू नो लाइक द थिंक यू उसका क्या कहते हैं वो प्राइमरी आर्टिस्ट की तरह नहीं है उसमें ये कहा था उसके उसके क्रेडिट के नाम के स्पेलिंग गलत हैं सो दोज आर इरिटेटिंग थिंग्स और आप जब ये काम करते हो आपकी टीम में कौन-कौन है मतलब हु आर देयर इन योर टीम हु डज द वर्क फॉर यू सो आई हैव माय मैनेजमेंट मिसफिट्स so they really support me in more than what a management would do they really have my back in terms of sourcing in terms of ideas they always kind of scouting then i have these close circuit of musicians and friends who keep on sharing music with me and i share music with them so we exchanging ideas can you name a few of them it'll be nice to know in terms of the lyrical thing kosar swanan always are sharing ideas with me then there is medieval pandes gaurav and tapan and karsh they are there in the independent Uh, scene. scene then in the writing scene there is uh, zoya reema shakun they always there with uh, ideas concepts a lot of musicians uh, musicians from our band sid kuto uh, always there uh, then uh, we have uh, johan my bass player uh, and then some of some musicians shekhar the other day messaged me sent me some interesting music salim uh merchant i feel it's like a healthy environment you keep on exchanging music if you release something you share with them and i feel like hum uh, bade interesting daur se guzar rahe hain jahan pe pehle divided tha music independent music and mainstream true abhi sirf music hai mainstream ha abhi ke kehte hain music hai i always define music in two genres music that i like and i don't like yeah. uh uske alawa mere liye koi aur genre nahi hai usme a lot of you see like shekhar shared such a beautiful melody with me recently that he had composed oh, independently music, yes. you know so uska interesting music aa raha hai then you have uh, salim doing bhumi 
It's a yes. beautiful work. Really. He released a song with Papon, which I loved recently. Uh, so uh, it's exciting times where people are doing things which are not just either with a brand or with a movie project or something mainstream. You're also doing things on your own. I think they like you know people putting in their own money and doing yeah. interesting and creating stages and as we said, building spaces and communities. Salim, in fact, is the guy who actually stopped me and told me once that you have to music industry. I don't like the industry word. It should be music community. That's yeah. where I got this community in yeah. you know, the world. And all of them have started labels. Arijit has started his own label. Mm. Vishal ji has started their Arijit label. Arijit released some amazing music recently. Uh, uh, his uh, trance one. Correct. Uh, really beautiful music. Deshiva. Shiva. Yeah. Yes. So what is the change that suddenly everybody is starting their own label and releasing music which they love? I think it's a, it's a good thing because what happens with films, what I feel, it can also come and swallow you. Hmm. It can be overwhelming. Uh, with with your music that you make on your own, at your own terms, which is entirely you and you're not complimenting somebody else's story, you're also telling your story. So in a way, you're also building your brand. So once I hear an independent song from Shekhar, I feel like this is the story he wants to say. True. Uh, as opposed to this, the song that he would make for a movie, then that would be uh, the story that the director wants to say and he is complimenting it. So they really come in the spotlight when they make their... Uh, independent music and you start seeing who they are. So I feel it's it's interesting to see who they are and what they want to say. True. And I think as I said, I mean, if Spotify and open the top 50 of India, you get to get 10 songs from independent musicians. They don't have a godfather. They don't have a very big management company. They don't have a very big label involved. They don't have a lot of finances involved. And those songs are doing well. I think it's on all the platforms, whether it is YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, and everywhere. I think it's the best time for everyone. If you have that neck in you and your music connect to people, it just uh, explodes. It just works. Having said that, now you have made so many music supervision, so many songs. What was the funniest moment? I mean, there have, there have been so many funny moments and so many. Now we have made a song in Aachi, Plum Pudding. So uh, how we were doing it was Shankar Ishan Loy uh, composed kar rahe the, or they would make a melody and thing and then they would uh, you know sing gibberish and my job was to just put some dummy words uh, instead of the gibberish and then we would take that song to Javed Saab to write the lyrics. lyrics. While making that song, one of the ideas that I was discussing with Zoya was that the, the, the song is set in a, a house party. Uh, the whole thematic of the film music is simpler times, you know, journey towards simpler times, return to innocence. So we wanted to make something that first of all, I was playing a piano in a house, people were singing in a house, people were singing in a house. So that was how we were making, we were recording the song and I said uh, that we should have sonics in this that are uh, sonic space in which there are sounds. There are ding dong, ping pong, ching chong, you know, so that should happen. So I said, but what do you mean? I said, so I, I wrote these Dummy words, my heart is hurting, boom boom, for you. Uh, you make me feel like Sunday on a Saturday. My heart is ringing, rings, ting tong, for you. You know, like that's it. So the dummy words are so good, and he said, this is the song. And I had sung the demo, so he said, this is the song. But this is too funny, but it ended up happening that we ended up using those lyrics and those things for the finale as well. But the joy of working and uh, when I look at look back at working on Archies with Shankar Hassan Loy, it's I have two memories, which is laughter and food. Music <laughs> 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 What is the most embarrassing moment? Embarrassing moments. Embarrassing moments. Sometimes it's embarrassing when when you put in your heart and soul into a song and some elements of that don't work whether it's the voice of a singer or a musician and you have to go back and tell them it's not working out. So it, it like, I feel like really shitty about it. Yeah. So it's and then I try and see if I can uh, make up for the effort uh, in an emotional way. Uh, financial way is always not the best way. So uh, there, are, there are times that I've had to go back to singers and say Ki, the voice is not working out for the vision of the director and I'll have to use somebody else's voice. And I've tried to work with the same singer again some point else. Actually, criticism or feedback is also a good thing. And it's also a good thing. 
कि आप कैसे किसी को फीडबैक ऐसा दो जो फेवरेबल फीडबैक नहीं है बट दैट डजन अफेक्ट दैट पर्सन इन द रॉन्ग वे विच आई फील कम्स फ्रॉम द इंटेंट यू कैन सी थ्रू द इंटेंट कई बार इंटेंट इज ओनली टू ब्रिंग यू डाउन समटाइम्स द इंटेंट इज देयर एंड द वर्ड्स आर नॉट राइट बट यू कैन यू एज लॉन्ग एज यू सींग द इंटेंट इट्स ऑल कूल अगर इंटेंट सही हो तो फर्क नहीं पड़ता एक्चुअली सब सही होता है ओके मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट डिसीजन क्या था I mean difficult decision uh, uh, in retrospect if it works then it doesn't seem that difficult like for instance uh, using apna time aayega as the climax song in gali boy was a very very difficult decision earlier uh, uh, when i had heard the demo that divine and dab sharma had made uh, i had always placed it as the introduction song for share uh, when he comes into the film but we would we didn't have a finale song and the finale song had to work and this song i always felt was very powerful uh and it was zoya's idea to move it from the introduction song of share to the finale song of the film and that kind of gave us space to find a new sound for share also because share's hip hop is different from murad's hip hop yes. uh but at that point it was a very very difficult decision to move uh it from uh the introduction song of share because i felt that's a solid introduction for a character and i still had hope that we'll make a banger for uh the finale song but i was not being able to top uh whatever i was making for the banger i think finally it all happened right for everyone yeah but it it was a difficult decision yeah to so share aaya share happened because uh because of that i got moved, moved to the there. climax because earlier the narrative that i was giving Uh, there was ki when when share ends up saying apna time aayega uh, at that time it was called sabka time aayega uh, sabka time aayega then murad sees it and says yeah mera time bhi aayega so that was the narrative that to ab sawal ye hai ki aap rejection kaise handle karte ho because obviously there are a lot of ideas which you present there are a lot of songs you present and it gets rejected how do you handle that rejection But like, I think I'm more trained for rejection than acceptance. So the best friends are training in rejection. Yeah. So it's not that difficult because you know you 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 fall on on your face so many times in your life that you know the drill for rejection. Actually, you don't know the drill for acceptance. You don't know what to do and how to react when something works. At least I don't. Uh, when something works, like somebody gives you a compliment, I really like that song. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's changed my life. Somebody says that you. You feel awkward, hey, hey. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, sorry. Thank you. You know, you don't know how to. T- I don't know how to take a compliment well. Yeah. If somebody says, "No, that didn't work for me," I say, "Yeah, okay, maybe yeah, that I can understand." <laughs> Because you've gone through your whole life with that only. So, uh, but at the end of it, I always see the intent. A lot of people, a lot of my close friends, uh, a lot of strangers who you meet, the moment they talk about your work, you can see through the intent. And. आप जब भी लोगों से मिलते हो अब आप इतना कुछ करते हो एंड जब हमने शुरू में ही बताया कि आप इतने सारे काम करते हो हाउ डू यू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ डू यू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ डिपेंडिंग ऑन कि इस बंदे से मुझे क्या काम मिलने वाला है तो मैं उस चीज़ पे इन्फेसिस ज़्यादा देता हूँ कि भाई अगर इसको एक टी प्रोड्यूसर की ज़रूरत है तो उसके बारे में ज़्यादा बात करता हूँ इसको कंपोजर की ज़रूरत है उसके बारे में बात करता हूँ इसको सुपरवाइज़र की ज़रूरत है डू यू डू यू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ डिफरेंटली टू डिफरेंट पीपल No, I usually try and say that I'm a storyteller that uses different mediums to tell the story. So nice. it's like a, whether it's through music, through poetry, through films, through writing, or through Latifa Suna ke kaise bhi, alag alag tarikhe se ab kahaniye suna rahe. And it's strange that uh, sometimes like you acted in Slumdog Millionaire. We were just talking about it. Six second ka role tha? I think it's sade chhe. Sade chhe. And you got an award for that. so the cast got uh, uh, screen actors guild award uh, and i think in the 6 seconds i had one word to say so i got counted in the speaking part so the speaking part got a certificate uh, it helps me in my visa <laughs> congratulations on that <laughs> and also you got award for film fair best lyricist award for gali boy uh, that i shared with uh, uh, divine yeah so and these are the most prestigious awards they very good awards yeah yeah can do better <laughs> if let's assume somebody wants to do music supervision as a career is it worth does it pay decent enough yes it pays so the kind of uh, just to uh, make it simple 
people also figuring out music supervision ko kaise pay kiya jaye so as long as it's seen as an hod and gets paid as an hod you are good uh, okay. and you're not doing uh, you're not being hired as an agent to get songs it should be seen like like you would get an hod for a costume department or a casting department like a casting director so you you are like a casting director for music so you should design your pay structure and your contract as an hod and how is it different from anr so anr is just finding the talent and getting them to the studio this would be also leading from the studio to supervising the music getting the music made to getting the music edited to the film and then forward henceforth the last couple of question on music supervision because i i really want people to know more and uh, so is it important to be a musician yourself to be a music supervisor i feel uh, music samajhna bahut important hota hai you don't need to be a good musician but to talk the language of music is very important ek koi director hoga ek mujhe bass pasand nahi aa raha but the director means the kick drum hmm ya jisme koi knowledge hona zaruri hai फॉल्सो लगे मुझे घबराहट की फीलिंग चाहिए ना वो म्यूजिशियन को समझाने के लिए देन समटाइम्स म्यूजिशियंस गेट थ्रोन ऑफ बाय फीडबैक सो यू आल्सो फिल्टर द फीडबैक यू बिकम द वॉइस ऑफ द म्यूजिशियन आल्सो यू बिकम पार्ट ऑफ द टीम ऑफ द म्यूजिक टीम यू आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग द म्यूजिशियंस टू द डायरेक्टर एंड रिप्रेजेंट डायरेक्टर टू द म्यूजिशियंस सो इट सो दे बोथ द टीम्स फील रिप्रेजेंटेड एंड एंड द कम्युनिकेशन बिकम क्लियर स्मूद Sometimes uh, the directors, किसी ने डेमो बनाया हुआ द डायरेक्टर इज नॉट गेटिंग द म्यूजिक नहीं यार इंस्टिंगटिवली आई डोंट लाइक इट बट यू सी एलिमेंट्स ऑफ इट दैट आर वर्किंग देन यू टेक टाइम फ्रॉम द डायरेक्टर यू सिट विद द म्यूजिशन यू टेक इट टू अ लेवल वेद द डायरेक्टर वी लाइक इट एंड देन पुश इट बिफोर रिजेक्टिंग इट और आउट राइट राइट ऑन टॉप सो इट जस्ट दैट आपके सवाल का जवाब के लिए कि म्यूजिशियन होना जरूरी नहीं है पर म्यूजिक को समझना जरूरी है इज इट सेफ टू से जैसे कोई डायरेक्टर होता है मूवी डायरेक्टर होता है उसके लिए अच्छा एक्टर होना जरूरी नहीं है बट उसको एक्टिंग के बारे में समझ में आना चाहिए कि अच्छा क्या है कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेशन अच्छा होना चाहिए ग्रेट एंड आपने करियर शुरुआत किया इंडिपेंडेंट म्यूजिक के साथ काफी पहले यू नो आपने गलत फैमिली बनाई तो पहले सबसे पहले तो नाम गलत फैमिली कहाँ से आया मतलब वो मेरे दोस्त ने लग दिया था इन अ वैन वी वॉज शूटिंग और हमारे द बैंड लिखा हुआ था और बाकी लोगों का वीडियो में सबका नाम लिखा हुआ था एक्टर्स के नाम हम लिखे हुए थे तो हम लोग का हम तो बड़ी बेजती हो रही है हमारा नाम ही नहीं है तो ऐसी बातें करते हुए हंसते हंसते किसी ने रोहित भाटिया मेरा दोस्त था उसने कह दिया कि तुम गलत फैमिली हो तुम गलत जो होता है ना खराब जोक जो पसंद आ जाते हैं डैड जोक जिन्हें कहा जाता है उस श्रेणी के जोक में ये पाया जाता है तो उसने पता नहीं कि हम इतना क्यों हंसे और करते करते हमने वो बैंड वाले को निकाला उसमें क्या कहते हैं रखा हो पीछे गलत फैमिली लिख दिया तो उस दिन से नाम पड़ गया आज की बहुत सारी जो जनरेशन है जो बड़े शहरों में रहती है वो श्रेणी का मतलब ढूंढ रहे होंगे भी क्या ओहो एंड हु आर द पार्ट ऑफ योर गलत फैमिली कौन कौन है सो इट्स इट्स एन इवॉल्विंग बैंड वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ एज अ फोर पीस बैंड देयर वाज मी सिड कूटो हु इज स्पाइन ऑफ द बैंड देन ही गॉट योहान पेस एज अ बेस प्लेयर एंड देयर वाज पोजी धर हु वाज प्लेइंग गिटार्स विद अस देन uh said said that uh, you know then posi said he got a job so posi left then we got gorav gupta to play the guitars uh then said said that he wants to dance so he couldn't he was playing drums he couldn't dance so we got a drummer vivan and said started playing guitar so we got two guitar players and a drummer and then gorav said he wants to play the keys he doesn't feel like playing guitar so he started playing the keys then he started playing guitars again then recently we had a tour when gora was busy with some uh, gig so we got sharad to play the guitars yohan said he wants to take a sabbatical so he took a sabbatical we got harshit mishra to play the bass so it's like bunch it of the- friends that keep on and everybody's on the group so sometimes we ask yohan you want to come and play again so he comes for a gig he can jump on stage so it's like a we are trying to justify build- the name <laughs> it is it is it's like basically the main agenda while starting with the band was do we laugh at each other's bad jokes as long as we're doing that we're good so till now till today we uh, touch wood we've not had a massive fight can we hear one of the bad jokes ye galat family itself is a bad joke like it's like horrible <laughs> joke what a stupid name for a band but that brings attention it mm-hmm. actually works 
in the marketing space really really well so you you were doing independent music when uh, independent music was not paying off that much if i have to put it right that Kabhi much ha um, not at all ha not at all is the to kabhi aisa envy nahi hota excitement nahi hota ki yaar main bhi film ke liye kaam try karu ya film mein gaane ke liye koshish karu because when you did it it was all about film music if i'm not wrong मेरे ख्याल से नाइन्टीज़ में एक दौर था जब पॉप म्यूज़िक शुरू हुआ था कुछ सालों के लिए उसके बाद तो फिर जो भी पॉप म्यूज़िक वाले भी आर्टिस्ट थे वो सारे फिल्म में आ गए थे के के शान यू नो ऑल दिस सोनू निगम ऑल दिस आर्टिस्ट एंड इवेंचुअली इट इज़ ऑल अबाउट फिल्म म्यूज़िक तो कभी ऐसा हुआ नहीं या कभी ट्राई नहीं किया आई ट्राइड आई ट्राइड पिचिंग फॉर फिल्म डेंट वर्क एंड इन फैक्ट आई गॉट रियली डिजेक्टेड कि फिल्म में भी पसंद नहीं आ रहा है यहाँ पर कोई सुन नहीं रहा क्या होगा सो देन आई गॉट रियली एंग्री आई एंड अ मेकिंग अ फिल्म एंड पुटिंग माई म्यूजिक इन द फिल्म कॉल लेट्स इन्जॉय वेर आई मेड विद सिद्धार्थ आनंद कुमार एंड माई फर्स्ट सॉन्ग दैट गॉट रिलीज वॉज इन अ फिल्म सबसे पीछे हम खड़े एंड बिफोर आई रिलीज इट ऑन अ सी डी और अ कसेट माई सॉन्ग वॉज ऑन डॉल बी विच आई फाउंड एज माई विक्ट्री एंड आई गॉट सिल्क रूट टू कवर इट एज वेल दे कवर द सॉन्ग Uh, we put it in the soundtrack and it caught the imagination of everyone i know you don't uh, talk like to talk about finance but it's important ki jab wo chalta rehta hai uh, time how do you meet your ends kyunki as you said ki yaar paisa zyada hota nahi hai independent kaam karte ho to so uh, how do you fund your album how do you fund your projects uh, how how do you actually do it so for me like the biggest investment that i found in my life is people or uh, if i didn't invest in people and not as a as something that i want something from them it's people and communities and families is what uh, makes you survive uh, so uh, at the end of the day you want a smile on your face when you're sleeping in a full belly and that's your ultimate goal that you need to get that you can get that in a fancy house you can get that on a friend's couch you can get that anywhere you want uh True. so as long as you're doing what you love doing uh and you're not stressed about it you're getting food from somewhere whether somebody is feeding you or uh, uh you making that money uh, i think your goals are kind of met and uh, at that basic level i think uh, what i found was investing in people helped you people open their homes for me they gave me food place to sleep and gave me money also sometimes and Gave you gigs when you didn't have gigs, you know. Like there were no spaces. Uh, to uh, there were bars. Enzi was a bar where they never had any live gigs, but they said come play a gig and they gave us little money. Riyaz Amlani, a friend, had a restaurant in Tarazo. He said let's make it a live when you come sing there. Now he has socials. Very yeah. So it's like it's like all these people. Uh, I remember Tarik Ansari used to have this radio channel. They never played uh, independent music, but then. they started playing independent music uh, my songs uh, tarik love my songs he started playing it on radio uh, mahesh mathai had blue frog they never allowed hindi bands but i told mahesh how a hindi band ke kyun nahi ban bajre music is a come play so it, we started playing so it's like people opened their spaces for us and we just kept on playing and it, it so for me the biggest investment was people and nice. still today is people with the people who are there who help you through thick and thin Uh, there's a line in my song shukriya which says meri zindagi mein aane ka shukriya be wajah mil jaane ka shukriya and i feel that that's you need people well said and do you follow international music yeah a lot i i follow music all sorts of music and which are your most favorite artists to so i love sting i love bruce springsteen amongst the older musicians i love taylor swift amongst the newer musicians uh i love rihana I love Nas. I love Eminem, Leonard Cohen, obviously Bob Dylan for their writing. It's uh, uh, variety. Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan, although I don't consider Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan as international, we kind of own him. Uh, like there are Kazilian, Sigur Ros, uh, Massive Attack. Nice. So all all sorts of uh, music, you know. Then you have the whole Asian underground movement that we are part of that we loved listening to them. Uh, Now there is a new Punjabi music coming in Raf Sapera, fantastic music. And which Indian bands or artists do you look? Lucky Bhai, his music is fantastic. 
I ended up uh, he ended up singing सबसे पीछे हम खड़े एट अ कॉन्सर्ट विद मी वन दैट वॉज माई फुल सर्कल बिकॉज आई स्टार्ट एंड मेकिंग म्यूजिक सींग हिज वीडियो फर्स्ट दैन मोहित ही एंडेड अप सिंगिंग सबसे पीछे हम खड़े विद मी देन देर इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ बैंड देर आर फैंटास्टिक बैंड अनुव जैन रिसेंट टाइम्स इज रियली नाइस वॉयस एंड रियली नाइस कॉम्पोजिशन देर आर दीज यंग किड्स मोहितो this young kid from haryana who's doing really well mc square uh srushti from bombay uh tawde yeah this hasal yeah. earlier she was just writing poetry on mm-hmm. the internet mm-hmm. i remember having a conversation with her once uh, i think at spoken where she'd come as an audience member and she said i want to be on stage and next year she was on stage because what she did with herself and she started writing she's too cool like she's got a crazy mind in terms of the thoughts that she has jasleen really beautiful swanan uh, amit like you know swanan so like about his ki aa rahi hogi ha humne itni baar yaad kiya unko yeah like it's like like it's uh, you're so fortunate to be in a city like bombay like you know i i read this book called just kids uh, written by patty smith before i went to new york for the first time i've only been there once Uh, और मैंने न्यूयॉर्क ढूंढना था सो आई रेड दैट बुक जस्ट किड्स वेर डिफरेंट सिक्सटीज एर आर पार्टी स्मिथ कम्स टू न्यूयॉर्क एंड वेर ऑल शी प्लेड वेर ऑल शी वेंट एंड हु ऑल शी मेट वेर सो आई यूज टू गो टू ऑल द प्लेसेज मैं इन द बुक आई हेड सर्कल दैम एंड कैप दैम आई फील बॉम्बे इज लाइक दैट यू नो यू सी यू गोइंग थ्रू अ स्पेस एंड यू सी यू नो स्ट्रीट नेम्ड आफ्टर मोहम्मद रफी एंड एंड द नेक्स्ट स्ट्रीट यू सी विशाल ददलानी क्रॉसिंग इन अ कार Uh, you feel like okay, these are the same uh, studio steps where A R Rahman would have walked. You like it's like a you feel magical. You feel that people who have created people's lives and soundtracks to people's lives, they have traveled through these lanes, these cities. These they've recorded in these studios. Mehboob uh, Studio, when you go to the upper room where the recording studio, you feel what what record will be there. What what things will happen. Just imagine Kishore Kumar. Has walked through the same space where you walking through. It like gives me goosebumps. I, I I think the city welcomes you as well. Sometimes kicks you out also. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> I think it's a very interesting city. I feel it's like it's like navigating an ocean. If you try and fight it, it will spit you out. Yes. Uh, uh, or suck you in. Or if you if you surrender and you go with yes. the flow, it will you will float very nicely and it'll take you where. I think it it's a sea of opportunities. I mean, it depends on you how you yeah. take it. But you can do anything from here. What to say? That's true. I've I've seen so many people myself. This is something that I always like. You know, like when my friends from back home they talk about uh, nepotism, they talk about opportunities. I really believe is like if you have the talent, this city gives you an opportunity. Like I won't be sitting here if there were gatekeepers guarding true, I mean, uh, the us. gates. It's like if you are good, uh, they will accept you. If you're not good, uh, whosoever you are, they will kick you out. आपने live show बहुत perform की है, है ना band के साथ. तो कौन सा शहर है जहाँ पे आपको सबसे ज़्यादा perform करके मज़ा आता है? दिल्ली में मज़ा आता है. दिल्ली, Bombay और Pune में काफी प्यार मिलता है हमको. और अभी जैसे लोग बोलते हैं tier one, tier two, tier three, uh, and audiences भी थोड़ी सी uh, uh, you know change हो रही है, evolve हो रही है. टिकट्स बिकने शुरू हुए थोड़ा सा टिकटिंग उसके बारे में कुछ बात करना चाहेंगे एज पर आई मीन एक्साइटिंग है ये कि कहते हैं इंटरेस्ट ज्यादा है पीपल आर स्पेंडिंग मनी टू सी शोज आर्टिस्ट दैट दे लाइक इंटरेस्टिंग डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंसेस जिसे कहते हैं अवे फ्रॉम कीबोर्ड एक्सपीरियंस बिकॉज सारे टाइम आपकी लाइफ की बोर्ड पर रहती है तो एक लाइव सीन uh, आपको एक मौका देता है कि आप थोड़ी देर अपने फोन से और uh, अपने कंप्यूटर से दूर रहें ट्रू सो आई थिंक यू आर वेरी एक्सपीरियंस इन इट यू सी दैट हाउ मीन हाउ द लाइव सीन इज इवॉल्विंग द बैंड एट फॉर नॉट कमिंग टू इंडिया आई रिमेंबर वैन ब्रू स्प्रिंग स्टीन केम टू इंडिया वी आर लाइक ओ माई गॉड एंड देन फॉर मेनी ईयर्स नो बडी केम देन एवरी थ्री मंथ एंड इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग दैट कमिंग इन द मैप ऑफ द वर्ल्ड पीपल आर कमिंग द प्लेइंग एंड द फेस्टिवल्स को ले लीजिए या आप लाइव शोज को ले लीजिए द प्रोडक्शन क्वालिटी विदर इट्स साउंड विदर इट्स लाइट्स विदर इट्स प्रोडक्शन इज वर्ल्ड क्लास इट्स इट्स अमेजिंग टू सी वर्ल्ड क्लास इवेंट्स हैपनिंग हेयर एंड इट्स नॉट अ रेयरिटी एज इट यूज टू बी वेन वी वर ग्रोइंग अप सो इट्स रियली एक्साइटिंग एंड यू फील प्राउड एंड वेन यू परफॉर्म विच इज द मोस्ट रिक्वेस्टेड सॉन्ग बाई पीपल 
سب سے پیچھے ہم کھڑے اٹ ہیز ناٹ لیفٹ مائی سیٹ لسٹ اینڈ مے بی لائک وین واز اٹ ریلیز اٹ واز ریلیز ان ٹو تھاؤزینڈ تھری تو کتنے سال ہو گئے بیس سال اکیس سال ہو جائیں گے دن میں اکیس سال سے دیٹ از ناٹ لیفٹ مائی سیٹ لسٹ اینڈ کتنا مزہ آتا ہے نا جب کوئی یہ گانا ریکویسٹ کرتا ہوگا بی بی کالجز میں یو ڈو ناٹ آف کالج نائس اینڈ بیسٹ تھنگ از دین آفٹر وائی یو ڈونٹ نیڈ ٹو سنگ سنگنگ فار یو دین یو جس فیل پارٹ آف ون کلب یو فیل لیس لونلی اینڈ ہیپی اینڈ از دیر اینی پری شو ریچول وچ یو ڈو لائک ہر شو کے پہلے کوئی ایسا ہے ہر شو کے پہلے مطلب ہمارا آئی یوزلی ٹرائی ناٹ اسپیک فار فائیو ٹین منٹس بفور بفور گیٹنگ آن اسٹیج آئی آلسو کائنڈ آف ویژولائز واٹس کون ہیپن کائنڈ آف میڈیٹیشن فار یو اٹس ناٹ ایز میڈیٹیٹو بٹ اٹس لائک آئی نو دیٹ آئی ایم ان مائی زون اینڈ دین اٹ بیکاز فرسٹ فیو سانگ آئی ایم آلویز ویری نروس ہٹنگ آن ہٹنگ دا اسٹیج اینڈ دین اسٹولی آفٹر دا تھرڈ سانگ آئی ایز آؤٹ بٹ ڈیفینیٹلی آئی ٹرائی اینڈ لائک کانسنٹریٹ and this just make sure that everyone all the bandmates have what they want the management has looked after them in terms of what do they want to eat drink everything is in place and you just kind of visualize ki is tarah ka crowd hoga yahan pe kya hoga and then you just get into so, you know main takriban nahi karte karte hazar deed hazar shows mein reh chuka hu 20 saal mein hmm. till date matlab hmm. to main nahi hu involved but till date last jab bhi main show pe gaya tha every single time شو جب شروع ہونے والا ہوتا ہے نا آئی ہیو این اینزائٹی اٹس اٹس سو اسکیری آئی کانٹ ٹیل یو جب تک وہ پہلے دو منٹ کمپلیٹ نہیں ہوتے نا تب تک ایسا لگتا ہے اگر کچھ ہو گیا تو کچھ ہو گیا تو اٹس ایک عجیب سا ڈر رہتا ہے کہ جنریٹر بند ہو گیا تو یو نو واٹ ایف دا لائٹس سوئچ آف سڈنلی واٹ ایف دا مائک بند ہو جائے کیونکہ ہے تو ٹیکنالوجی ہے تو ٹیکنیکل کچھ بھی ہو سکتا ہے آپ نا تھوڑا سا انیشیل ڈیز کی بات کرتے ہم نے بات کی اب میں نے پڑھا کہ آپ ہم نے بولا کہ روڑکی تھے برسلس تھے بھوپال تھے پھر آپ آئے پھر آپ نے میوزک لیبلس کو سی ڈی سنائی کیسٹس سنائی پھر ان لوگوں کو اتنا سمجھ میں نہیں آیا دین یو ونٹ اگین آئی ڈونٹ نو ویدر اٹ وی کال اٹ اے اسٹرگل اور جسٹ اے جرنی ہاؤ واز دیٹ جرنی آف یورس ان دی انیشیل ڈیز اٹ واز ویری ایکسائٹنگ آئی نیور فیلڈ دیٹ آئی ایم اسٹرگلنگ آئی آلویز فیلڈ کہ کیا کہتے ہیں بیکاز آئی آلویز ہیڈ اے کلوز گروپ آف فرینڈس ہو آر لسننگ ٹو یو اینڈ ہیلپنگ یو آؤٹ یو آلویز فیلڈ دیٹ یو آر ڈوئنگ سم تھنگ وچ یو وانٹ ٹو ڈو اینڈ دیز سپورٹ آلسو مے بی کمنگ فرام اے اسمال ٹاؤن ان پری انٹرنیٹ ڈیز اس کائنڈ اے نائیو اینڈ آپٹیمسٹک سو دیر واز نو فیئر یو جسٹ وینٹ الانگ یو جسٹ فیلڈ اف یو نو دے کین ڈو اٹ دین یو کین ڈو اٹ آئی ریمبر وین یو کیم ان یو کیم مچ ارلیئر When we, I came in 2003 for internet cafe نئے نئے کھلے تھے ریلائنس ویب ورلڈ ہوا کرتا تھا سو روپے گھنٹے کے دیکھے یو یو مسٹ ہیو ڈن دیٹ ایز ویل ہے نا آئی واز نیور ان ٹو کمپیوٹرز دیٹ مچ آئی واز ناٹ اسپینڈنگ مچ ٹائم آن کمپیوٹرز اوکے اینڈ جیسے اب آپ نے کافی کچھ اچیو کر لیا ہے آپ کو لوگ جانتے ہیں ریگولر کام آپ کرتے ہو الگ الگ طریقے کا کام کر رہے ہو بٹ جو ہم اسٹرگل بولتے ہیں اسٹرگل ختم نہیں ہوتی ہے جنرلی تو ایک ایک کائنڈ آف سکسیز اچیو کرنے کے بعد کی اسٹرگل کیا ہوتی ہے آئی مین یو نیور فیل دیٹ یو آر سکسیزفل ایٹ لیسٹ آئی ڈونٹ فیل بیکاز اٹس لائک اے بلون کہ آپ کے امبیشن بھی اتنے بڑھتے رہتے ہیں ناؤ مائی امبیشن از ٹو ورک ود دا بیسٹ پیپل ان دا ورلڈ بیسٹ ساؤنڈ ریکارڈرس بیسٹ میوزیشنس بیسٹ ڈی او پیز بیسٹ اسکرپٹ رائٹرس بیسٹ ڈائریکٹرس سو آئی وانٹ ٹو ورک ود دا بیسٹ ان دا ورلڈ اینڈ کانکر دا ورلڈ اینڈ دین سی ویئر اٹ گو سو لائک آئی فیل کہ یو کیپ آن گروئنگ اینڈ یو کیپ آن ایکسپینڈنگ یور تھنگس آئی اسٹل فیل آئی ایم اسٹرگلنگ اینڈ آئی ہیو نو آئیڈینٹی ان دا بگ ورلڈ سو یو نیڈ ٹو بلڈ یور آئیڈینٹی اینڈ یو اسٹارٹ فرام اسکریچ اگین اینڈ آپ نے ابھی ریسنٹلی میوزک لیبل بھی لانچ کیا ہے کو فاؤنڈیڈ وتھ زو اینڈ ریما اینڈ واٹ از دا پرپز آف لانچنگ دیٹ لیبل سو دا انٹرسٹنگ تھنگ وچ آئی فائنڈ از I feel the music is in a very interesting phase right now. Uh, the purpose of the label is to find the language of music which is visual as well as it has an element of storytelling and it does music that nobody else is doing. Okay. Uh, so, what the music is happening, it's happening. I feel we can push the boundary and do something more exciting. Uh, also, try and create worlds and universes in which different musicians can inhabit it. So, take it forward in a way where define a music label not just 
a label that just does music. So we also are thinking of doing documentaries, podcasts, uh, uh, fiction films. Uh, that all in the label? All in the label because nice. anything, anything and everything to do with music. So to do like, you know, the people present the music in a form of an album. What are the different ways you can present your music? And you can present your music as a movie as well. You know, Pink Floyd did it, Michael Jackson did True. it. So we can make movies, which are musical movies. We can make uh, documentaries. We can record music as singles, as albums, as EPs. The world is ours. And you've been continuously working with uh, Zoya and Rima. How are they working? How How is it working with them as partners now? It's exciting. I feel like, you know, the, uh, the male dominance is very strong in the creative world. Uh, like even now there are two men sitting and talking on camera telling the world uh, what they think but my big learning is if you listen to women it's they have a very very interesting gaze and you learn so much so just working with Zoya and Rima is like a learning experience of how they experience stories and how they tell stories and it opens your mind in in spaces that you're not probably designed to think like that or you're not been conditioned to think like that more than design. So uh, they are both excellent storytellers, they're both excellent writers, directors, and amazing human beings. So uh, congratulations. working with them is like, I think the really unique partnership for me at least. And how involved they are in the process of music making? Very involved. Like they love music, both of them love music and we're talking music all the time. And we can do this and we can do that. And they have this childlike enthusiasm where you can come up with an audacious idea and follow it up as well. And what are the interesting projects which we can expect from Tiger Baby, uh, the label, very soon? Uh, one thing which we've been doing uh, is to make a catalogue of children's music, which has not been done before in India. New children's music in regional language has not been made. Nice. Uh, and I feel that the market doesn't demand it. Uh, but at the same time, I feel a market can be created around uh, children's music. So uh, we have... So there is a market, Kuku TV, Chuchu TV, they are like, yeah. they're having millions and billions of views because if they like the they watch So that's what we feel that, you know, like we need to do it in an organized way and do at least four or five albums with children's music and not just children's music, which is for toddlers, but also for young adults, teens. Yeah, teenagers, yeah. Teenagers and give them music, which is not uh, uh, talking vertically at them. Because a lot of times when you, as an adult, are making music for younger kids, you talk at them. Instead of that, we are working with children. We are working a project with Sobo School of Music, uh, Dharavi Kids, uh, the Dream Project, uh, a hip-hop project, but designed by them and sung by them Super. for kids. So uh, kids, what, they, what do they want to tell? Dharavi Kids are extremely talented. I remember I went to the launch of their new studio. They're amazing. So we recorded in the studio, we, we uh, worked with them, got them an interesting producer, designing music by them for uh, kids their age. And I keep plugging in that question, I will keep doing that. Yeah. I mean, I'm an emerging artist, so I have to sing with your labels. How, how, what, how do I do? Put your music out, send it to us, uh, and when it has to fall into place, it will Is there an official place. email ID where people can do that? Uh, usually people are sending us a thing on our uh, Instagram, uh, Instagram handle, Tiger Baby Records. And we are listening to a lot of that material. Uh, we have, we, some of them we've already started working with. But yeah, off and on, whenever we feel that something is fitting what we are doing, we can reach out to them. Super. That sounds uh, really good. Abhi, aapne, aapne, agar if you look back your journey, you have... 98 you started? 98 officially, yeah. So 98, it's uh, 25 years, 25, 26 years. Oh my God, seems long. Yeah. So what are the uh, life learnings and which you would, would like to impart to the, because you are also involved in mentoring a lot of, uh, you know, musicians and artists. What are the learnings which you would like to impart them? What are learning you need I feel like be honest of why you're making music. Uh, don't fool yourself because the first lie you tell, start telling anybody is yourself. Uh, second, invest in people who will be around you, uh, even if it doesn't work for your project at that moment. Uh, people are going to help you and, and try and move in packs, move with people rather than like don't step on people's shoulders and move ahead. Uh, once you move in packs and you move in numbers, uh, you end up conquering. 
Uh, any mistake which you would like to say that this is something which you should avoid? Making music like content, making music as if you're producing it for a factory, uh, or you making music uh, with an agenda which is, doesn't come from your soul, uh, as a product where you feel you're smarter than the market and you can push it. Uh, that could work sometimes, but in the long run, that's not you. Okay. And since you run a label now, you are a, you're a businessman. So you would know how the labels business work. So I would like to ask you a few terms. Oh and my if you could explain me, you know, what does actually mean? I'm, I'm going to fail at this so bad. <laughs> so how would you define copyright? Copyright for me is anything, any, any piece, any idea that has taken a physical form. How do you protect it for the writer and the composer? Okay. And publishing? Publishing would be your blueprint. Publishing would be your formula, uh, how you uh, protect your formula, which can be duplicated into making many of those same things. I, I love, I love that you know you are churning out all the emotions about everything. Uh, how would it practically make sense? I don't know. But, <laughs> you know the emotion that the intent is right. Uh, master rights. Master rights would belong to the physical form of like you, the waveform that you have uh, created. Uh, whether it's on an LP, whether it's on a CD, wherever that, whatever that idea has, that physical form of your idea, uh, the right of that physical waveform. When you do music supervision, for instance, when you when you are acquiring the right for a song to be licensed, you are going for both publishing and the masters for the for the waveform that you're going to sync and the formula that is. So that's well. actually in the technical term is called underlying and master. Yeah. So every time you use the master, you will need underlying rights as well. Yeah. So, so that's like for people who are going to become the future music supervisors and then going for it, it's not just the master form, but also the formula that yes. has made that song. Yes. You know, with this podcast, one of our biggest aim is to eventually empower every single musician in this country with the knowledge of the business because it's not just good for them. It's good for everyone dealing with them. Today, there is a fight. Music labels bowling AR artists nahi samajhte economics. Hum paise lagate hain itne. Hamare paise wapas aate hi nahi hai. What do we do? Hmm. Artists bolte hain promote nahi karte gana. Hmm. Ye humko creative freedom nahi dete. Ye sare jitne bhi cheeze hain na, ye hai ki koi ek dusre ko samajhne ki koshish nahi kar raha. Hmm. To jitna important hai labels, producers, filmmakers in sab logo ko artisto ko samajhna. Utna hi important hai artist ko bhi in sare logo ki background ko samajna. So once people understand copyright, publishing, sync, licensing, all of it, I think it will be much, much easier for people to deal with each other. Hmm. And ye jo cheating hoti hai ya badmashiyan hoti hai, meri khal se bahut kam ho jayengi. That's what I personally feel. Coming to social media, you, you use social media actively? You... I use social media actively, I'm not sure. My, my management would not believe so. <laughs> और आपके हिसाब से जो आर्टिस्ट हैं क्या उनको खुद सोशल मीडिया यूज करना चाहिए या आई मीन समबडी एल्स शुड डू इट आई मीन आई फील द इंटरनेट इज अबाउट ऑनेस्टी सो इवन इफ समबडी एल्स इज डूइंग इट यू हैव टू गो थ्रू इट सो इट इट रिफ्लेक्ट्स हु यू आर एंड नॉट अ प्रोजेक्टेड इमेज ऑफ यू सो एज लॉन्ग एज ऑन द इंटरनेट यू कम्युनिकेटिंग हु यू आर एंड नॉट प्रिटेंडिंग टू बी समवन एल्स आई फील इट्स गुड एंड नेगेटिव कमेंट्स बहुत मिलते हैं सोशल मीडिया पे बाहर भी मिलते हैं सोशल मीडिया थोड़े से और ज्यादा ब्रूटल भी हो जाते हैं कभी कभी हाउ डू यू डील विद दो कॉमेंट्स आई मीन गुड फॉर देम लाइक देर मे बी दे फील मोर शांत यू गेट ट्रोल ऑल योर लाइफ एंड यू गेट आई फील आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम पीपल आर फाउंड मीडियम टू वेंट आउट एंड वॉट आई हैव नोटिस इज Uh, contrary to what I said before, is when you go on ground, you feel that there is less hatred. Uh, on the internet, people who want to give you love, they are shy to approach you. So only the people who end up uh, hating you try and uh, reach out to you, uh, because a lot of times people who love you they get scared that their haters are going to come after them as well. True. So, but when you go on ground, you realize you know uh, when you physically meet people, when you see eye to eye. Uh, Uh, a lot of times the haters also end up uh, you know uh, kind of uh, loving you we had written a song called aainda about it yeah usme hai line chada aisa bukhar hai sabke sar sawar hai jaane hai kis firaq mein ye khoon ki khuraak ke zamane wow 
नाइस एंड जब भी हमारे सोशल मीडिया पे कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज भी बहुत ज़्यादा होती हैं आजकल बहुत ईजी हो गया ना कि आपने किसी एक वीडियो में कहीं कुछ ऐसा एक्ट किया जो पता नहीं किसको बुरा लग गया और इट जस्ट ब्लू यू नो आउट ऑफ नो एंड लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स आर्टिस्ट आर नॉट एबल टू हैंडल दैट नेगेटिविटी और दोज कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी हाउ डू यू हैंडल इट इफ समथिंग लाइक दैट हैपन्स टू यू और हाउ डू यू सजेस्ट पीपल शुड हैंडल इट आई एम नॉट क्वालिफाइड टू स्पीक अबाउट इट बिकॉज इट इज द नेचर ऑफ द बीस्ट If you on the internet, there are people who are going to love you and people are going to hate you. You know your in your conscience what you have done, and you uh, you have to deal with it. How life is moving. There's a lot of aggression out in the world today. Uh, cancel culture has become really aggressive. Uh, I believe in second chances to anyone if the intent is uh, intent is fixed. I believe in reformation. uh and uh, today's world doesn't give you much space for that last few uh, interesting things uh any guilty pleasure you have i love butter chicken <laughs> chole bhature is a foodie no i'm not a foodie but i love chole bhature butter chicken any uh, specific shop any specific place butter chicken ek do jagah ke bahut hi sahi hai ek have more hai pandara road mein delhi mein Uh, and in Karachi there's a space called Boat Basin. वहाँ के दो जगह बटर चिकन क्लासिक देन देर इज ग्रीन पार्क में छोले भटूरे बड़े अच्छे मिलते हैं वह ग्रीन में एंड इवन इन बंगाली मार्केट सो दो टू छोला भटूरा था रियली क्लासिक कोई अनयूजल फूड कॉम्बिनेशन है अजीब चीज़ें मिला के खाते हो ऐसा कुछ आई मीन आई लव हैविंग स्लाइस ऑफ केक इन द मॉर्निंग विच इज़ अनयूजल टोरी and uh, what would success mean to you which i defined earlier is like uh, full belly and sleeping with a smile on your face super and if i if i have to say because you work with almost every stakeholder of the music community you worked or you regularly work if you had to say one thing to all of them i'll just name them and you can say mm. uh, music labels go easy on the numbers okay because i i said it earlier also in our times the songs were called numbers and now they are concentrating on different kind of numbers so if you concentrate on songs uh, it'll be nicer filmmakers all the producers directors production houses uh, feel confident about your musical gut and go with it uh, managers uh, don't look at your artists as products and uh, all the clients like managers deal with may it be a wedding planner a festival organizer a uh, corporate uh, body an agency you know uh, who's dealing uh, the artist is also a brand so don't uh, just treat the artist as just as a human being it's also a brand so they also have to protect their brand as much as you have to protect your brand super uh, all the radio stations play all sorts of music uh, as long as you like it oh. and equal number of hours less ads music channels <laughs> lot to say for the radio station sorry <laughs> <laughs> music channels a uh, same thing uh, less ads don't classify music too much play all sorts of music uh, equal number of hours and uh, uh, streaming companies audio streaming companies uh, give a bigger share of royalties video streaming companies uh, actually youtube and uh, youtube and all yeah uh, probably yeah, big give a bigger share of royalties So when you say bigger share of royalties, I mean uh, I just want to plug in a thing. Uh, I was at a IPRS summit a uh, couple few days back. It was organized by uh, the Indian Association and International Agency. And I'm a real advocate of one thing that our music industry is too small in terms of numbers. Uh, the core idea is because people are not habituated to pay for music, and we are fighting among ourselves. The truth is that uh, we have almost everybody in India consumes music. and majority of people consume music for free aap radio mein suno free hai music channels mein suno free hai 
स्ट्रीमिंग पे सुनो फ्री है देर इज अ प्रीमियम थिंग अनटिल एन अनलेस पीपल स्टार्ट पेइंग फॉर म्यूजिक द नंबर्स विल नेवर ग्रो एंड इट विल नेवर कम टू यू नो आर्टिस्ट्स सो आई आई मीन दैट्स माय पर्सनल थिंग आई आई जेन्युइनली थिंक वी शुड ऑलवेज प्रमोट पीपल टू पे फॉर म्यूजिक जैसे टिकट्स के फ्री पासेस हैं शोज के जब तक फ्री पासेस का कल्चर बंद नहीं होगा जब तक लोग जिस शो को देखने जा रहे हैं उसके लिए सौ रुपए दो सौ रुपए हजार रुपए देने के लिए इंटरेस्टेड नहीं होंगे तब तक किसी भी आर्टिस्ट की लाइफ इम्प्रूव होगी नहीं सो अगेन माई क्वेश्चन दैट वॉट डू यू वॉन्ट कॉल टेल योर फैंस हु लिसन टू म्यूजिक योर म्यूजिक आई मीन वॉट आर आई वुड पीपल हु लव माई म्यूजिक आई वुड लव फॉर देम टू इन अ वे टेक द म्यूजिक फॉरवर्ड मेक इट द साउंड ट्रैक ऑफ द लाइव बट ऑल्सो टेक अदर आर्टिस्ट अलॉन्ग विद दैट एंड नॉट जस्ट यू नो हैव अ मैनिक फॉलोइंग दैट इफ यू लाइक दिस पर्सन यू डोंट लाइक दैट पर्सन एट आई थिंक एज अ कम्युनिटी यू नीड टू ऑल्सो सी वॉट आर यू गिविंग बैक टू द कम्युनिटी सो इन अ वे सिमिलर टू वॉट यू सेट बिफोर गिव बैक टू द कम्युनिटी पे फॉर certain things and also if you enjoying uh, if it's becoming a soundtrack to your life uh, support the artist in more th- more than one ways whether it's buying tickets merch uh, just supporting artists on their uh, spotify accounts or patreon accounts or wherever just make sure that you also understand the value of what the artists are bringing to the table and not just the artists that you like but similar artists around that as well support एंड uh, एक आर्टिस्ट के लाइफ में लेबल्स फिल्म मेकर्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स इन ये सब तो होते ही है मैनेजर्स होते हैं उसके अलावा भी बहुत सारे कंसल्टेंट्स होते हैं समबडी इज कंसल्टिंग यू लीगली समबडी इज कंसल्टिंग यू फॉर फाइनेंस एंड वैसे कितने हैं मेकअप है हेयर है डिजाइनिंग है, है बहुत कुछ है वो जो सारे कंसल्टेंट्स जितने भी लाइफ में है उनके लिए थैंक यू बिकॉज दे मेक योर लाइफ यू नो लाइक यू यू आर जस्ट द फेस ऑफ द शो वेन 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 द शो इज ऑन ग्राउंड uh right from your logistics person technicians engineers like technicians engineers light men makeup artists uh, choreographers dancers uh, your legal team uh, yeah. your financial team your everyone they are putting up a show together so uh you have to understand and acknowledge each one of them are making this whole that's why i say like the artist is not just the artist it's a brand with one artists going up or down you also supporting a whole ecosystem around it so uh, that's why the fans should understand this as well in terms of you not just supporting your artists you also supporting families that are linked true. to that artist true and uh, one suggestion to the whole music community if you want to request any something that that should change in the community as well or improve in the community as well uh, share music and pay back to what they are giving you fantastic my last question uh like you've already spent almost 25 years into the music scene your next 25 years are also going to be in the music scene eventually uh how would you how would you like your legacy to be remembered uh, by people i should don't care much i won't be around <laughs> <laughs> don't hate me <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah. fine that's that's completely fine cool अंकुर बहुत मजा आया बात करके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द टाइम नो लवली इट वाज और मेरे ख्याल से मुझे लगा ही नहीं कि मैं इंटरव्यू ले रहा हूं या कुछ पूछ रहा हूं नो इट वाज रियली स्पेशल एंड आल्सो व्हाट यू आर डूइंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज़ द मोर कम्युनिकेशन ऑफ बिहाइंड द सीन्स ऑफ हाउ थिंग्स हैपन व्हाट वी हैव एक्सपीरियंस व्हाट यू एक्सपीरियंस व्हाट आई हैव एक्सपीरियंस इज शेयर्ड विद पीपल इट विल एनेबल अदर पीपल टू टेक अ कॉन्शियस चॉइस अबाउट देयर लाइफ एंड मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि हम छोटे शहरों से जो आते हैं ना उनको ज्यादा खुलनस होती है क्योंकि मैं अभी जब बॉम्बे आया था मुझे इस बात को लेके बहुत गुस्सा उठता था कि कोई मिलता क्यों नहीं है hmm. मतलब वाई इज सो डिफिकल्ट टू मीट पीपल टू डिस्कस थिंग्स मिलना तो चाहिए एंड दैट्स द रीजन ऑल अबाउट म्यूजिक रीजन दिस पॉडकास्ट इज है यार पता तो चले कहा पढ़े वे डू यू स्टडी अबाउट द कम्युनिटी अगर आपको डॉक्टर बनना है hmm. तो आप मेडिकल पढ़ सकते हो hmm. आपको इंजीनियर बनना है आपके पास कोर्सेज है आपको अगर मान लो म्यूजिक इंडस्ट्री के अंदर रहना है क्योंकि म्यूजिक सीखने का कोई सही तरीका तो है नहीं है ना और सिर्फ सिंगर और आर्टिस्ट नहीं बनना है कितने लोग हैं काम करने वाले बट देर इज नो स्पेसिफिक वे टू एंटर द ओनली वे इज टू एक्सप्लोर बाय मीटिंग पीपल नोइंग अबाउट थिंग्स आई थिंक वो हमारे अंदर थोड़ा सा है एंड ऑल्सो आई फील लाइक लाइक सो मेनी म्यूजिशियंटेम्प्री सीनियर्स जूनियर्स बट आई फील दैट इट्स नॉट एन ओलम्पिक्स ऑफ म्यूजिक 
So while competition is important, it's very important for everyone to grow together. True. Thank you so much, Ankur. It was lovely. Oh, thank thank you. you.